Hello everyone and peace over Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, first of all, I received some emails about my books. Uh, people are thanking me for writing those books and they said they learned a lot of uh, information. Well, this is the purpose of those books and I'm glad that you like it. But please don't forget to leave your comment or review in Amazon about them. Now we go to the topic. Hmm. You see, I used uh, to go for hunting a lot before, but now not like before. And once uh, we shot at the, at the fox. And the fox is very deceiving. You know, when they say to you the fox is very smart, believe them. It's not a fairy tale. He lay down and he made himself as if he is dead. And one of the guys is with us. You know, eh, the fox is dead. So, dead to you. So, so he walked toward him and the fox did not move until the person he bent down to pick him up, to grab him. And then the fox start running like crazy. And he ran exactly in the same direction where the guy is between us and him so we cannot shoot at him again. So the fox is very smart. Now, I said in the title, when a fox explains Islam, I don't mean it literally. Because obviously those who try to explain Islam to us, they have nothing to do with foxes. If you read the comment the Muslims they give us, and I will show you some, you will see how much confused they are and how much they have no idea what to do or what to say. If we go like, you know, go up, see all the comments. Uh, by the way, be careful from those uh, accounts who post those things. Those are porn. So don't click on them. Don't go there. They are trying to make you click and go to their, uh, you know, scam. Uh, I don't know. This one is uh, in uh, Indonesian language, so I have no idea what he's saying. Okay. So let us see some Muslim comments. We will skip for sure the Indonesian one because I have no idea what they are saying. As you know, I used to speak Indonesian, but what happened, the same as what happened to Zulkarnain happened to me. My people, they hit me in my head with the hammer. I get the first horn and then I died. And then Allah, he resurrected me and he sent me again. I opened my chat and then my people hit me again with the hammer in my head. And this is how I got my second horn. And then they call me the uh, Zulkarnain, the person with the two horns. Allahu Akbar. So uh, since they hit me with the hammer, I forgot, you know, how to speak Indonesian. Sorry. Uh, so it says here, let us see. Jesus is not God. Jesus is mighty prophet. Prophet. This is how you say the word prophet. Prophet. <laughs> prophet. <laughs> anyway, I feel better about my English now. So, okay, my friend, my friend, take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. You see, the, the funny thing about the Muslim, we just made a video showing them that their God, he believe that uh, cat is created from the sneeze of shaitan, the sneeze of the lion, sorry. And the shaitan, he got inside the ship of Noah because he hold the tail of the donkey. And what the Muslim, he says to us after watching the video, Jesus is not God. He's not God. Jesus is mighty prophet, prof prophet, prophet. He's not God. What does what that to do with topic? He's not God. So the problem of a Muslim is not Muhammad saying all those fairy tale stories, stupid stories. He's a problem. Jesus is not God. It doesn't matter how stupid the Quran, how stupid the Hadith, how stupid Muhammad is. The problem is Jesus is not God. So Jesus is a problem for Muhammad. Because this is a, of this is stupid concept. Okay. Most of a priest revert to Islam like who? Who is the most of the priest? Most, the most of them. We have nobody left. <laughs> like who? The guy who claimed to be a priest was his name. Uh, uh, his wife, she called him useless, as he said. Before he converted to Islam, he was his name is useless. He claimed to was a youth uh, minister. Uh, where? Youth minister? A guy in this age, he was a youth minister, and he had not even one single picture of him being a minister in a church. 
So my friend who do convert to Islam, they will leave Islam sooner or later unless you pay them salary. And this is what happened to this guy. But the truth is, we have people leaving Islam left and right. I mean, since the beginning of the year, which is not long time ago, the first seven days of the year, we almost we have every day we have somebody leaving Islam life on air. Here, alone, with me, no. So take it easy. And it doesn't matter how many people they convert to Islam, uh, they will leave Islam sooner or later, you know, because if somebody converts to Islam, because you must give him false translation, you know. You don't tell them the truth about Islam, and you must don't even know what Islam is about. So how you can even convert people except by, you know, using some kind of uh, trick, trickery, you know. Like Islam is a beautiful religion, Islam make people equal. Uh, you go to the black people, you say to them, uh, Islam is against slavery. When Muhammad is the one who used to buy and sell slaves, he had thousands of slaves, not hundreds, not one, not two. Each wife of his wife, she have a house, and each one of them, she have many, many ser servant slaves. But in the front of the black people, you say to them, Islam is against slavery. Look at Bilal. Bilal was a slave. Bilal, you know, Muhammad died, and Bilal is still as a slave. That's why Bilal said to Abu Bakr, if you bought me for the sake of Allah, well, uh, you know, uh, uh, then free me for the sake of Allah. If you bought me for the sake of yourself, then, you know, tip me for yourself, hypocrite. That's what he meant. He meant uh, hip hypocrite. They keep promising him freedom, saying to him, you will go to heaven. And the poor guy, he's a slave. And then hell is waiting for you. Okay, okay. Hell is waiting for me. Isn't it better than going to heaven? And then there is thousands of horny women they will jump on me i mean what i did to allah so if i can convert right now to islam what i will have i will have 70 years orgasm is that a penalty or it's a reward i want to understand i mean the concept of heaven in islam when you say to me my private part will be endless is that is that fun how you can walk with it? The second you start thinking about what they promised you about Islam, you go crazy. I mean, you have an endless private part. You have 70 uh, uh, year orgasm. You have women you can see through their bones. I mean, what is that? So when you try to invite me to your cult, I see nothing except the stupid promises. They don't even make sense. I mean, at least you, you see, if you invite somebody to Las Vegas, Las Vegas make way more sense. It is real than the promises of Muhammad, like endless penis. How you can enter the casino with it? Let us imagine your house is in, in the size of uh, uh, all the casinos in the world. Huh? Fancy. But now you have endless penis. How? What you can? What you can do with it? Where you can put it? So when a Mohammedan speak about hell and heaven, we die laughing. I mean, what hell? What heaven? What are you talking about? Look who is talking. Secondly, isn't it your prophet? He says the Christians and even the Sabians who worship the stars they will go to heaven, and the Jews too. And he said that in his time, not to the previous Christians. He was saying that to people in front of him. So how your prophet, he promised us to go to heaven, which means I will have an endless private part. I will take a picture for it. So, you know, one day when I go to heaven, excuse my language, you know, just to prove it that it's true because Christian prince making fun of it. He don't believe it. So when we go to heaven, I'm going to take a selfie for it. Send it to you. Post it in Tarwitar, you know, Tarwitar program. Yeah. Whoever, those who become believers, the Muslims, and the Jews, uh -huh, and the Christian, uh -huh, and the Sabian, uh -huh, and who believe in the day of the uh, uh, of God and the day of judgment, 
uh, and strive righteously, well, you know, they will receive reward and will go to heaven. We will go to heaven. Well, don't Muhammad knew that the Christians at that time, they worship Jesus? In his time, isn't it the same book says the Christian, they worship Jesus? Right? Now, some of you were asking in the chat uh, when I'm going to talk about how Allah created the pig, as we promised you. Don't worry, we will talk about it, but not now. You know, I mean, maybe tomorrow or the day after. No rush. The, the, the pig is really created. Don't worry about him. We will talk about it. But now let us answer the Muslim funny comment. Uh, Islam is the fastest growing religion. That's a, that's a false statement. Because first of all, there's nothing is called Islam exists anymore. And there's nothing is called Muslims. When we say Muslims, we are saying people who they are calling themselves Muslims. But in fact, none of you is a Muslim. None of you. Name for me one Islamic country is a practice in Islam. You see, Islam is not like a Christianity. Islam is a government. If the government does not exist, there is no Islam. Islam is not a religion. Islam is a government. So if you could not practice a government of Islam, then there is no Islam. And you can ask your sheikh, he will say to you exactly this is true. So which country in your world they want to follow Islam. Why you don't follow Islam in Turkey? Here we have, you have Erdogan, he recite the Quran for you. The country of the bars and prostitution and drugs and the casinos and, you know, sex tourists and etc. Okay, but this is Turkey, Erdogan, you know, had the, the, the party of Allah. They never even close one bar. Why you don't want to follow Islam? Because Islam is just a, a sign, you know, but behind the sign, everything is allowed. Why you don't follow Islam in Morocco, Algeria, Egypt? I mean, name for me one place you follow Islam. Where? Even in Saudi Arabia, you don't. Who in Saudi Arabia, who is a Christian in Saudi Arabia, he pay, he pay jizya? Nobody. Nobody. So when they speak about Islam, this is the leftover of Islam. There's nothing called Islam anymore. Islam is gone actually since the time of Muhammad. After Muhammad, there is no Islam. There's just people fighting over power. The Muslims, they slaughter the grandsons of Muhammad, who the Muslim claim that they are his grandsons from Ali. The Muslims killed the Caliphate. For Islam is a government. Muslims are fighting over power. They don't care for God. Who killed the caliphate? Who killed Uthman? He, who killed all your, your caliphate? The Christians? No. The Jews? No. The Muslims? Yes. So which Muslims are we are talking about? Yeah, this guy, his name is Tim. He's a kid. This guy, he was the Pope, by the way. He was the Pope for two days, and then he became... Uh, a, a patriarch uh, in Greece for three days and then he became uh, a sheikh in Egypt and this guy is a kid you know we will go there now we have another Muslim, uh, Muhammadan saying Jesus was circumcised so why Christian not circumcised I guess circumcision circumcised in the is the Bible is Bible the word of God or King of J King James you know here you see the stupidity King James is a translation Abdul it's not a Bible called King James a translation you, you say you you have Quran Yusuf Ali you have Quran uh, Hilali and Khan you have Quran Big Tal you have international Sahih international King James is not a name of a Bible it's a name of a translation stop being a fool secondly as long you are a person who supports circumcision can you show me where your prophet the circumcised how you are a prophet he told you to circumcise yourself but he never did Muslims, Muhammad, he claimed to be become a prophet at the age of 40. Where the story of his circumcision? Any Muslim want to show us? If there is any Muslim, it's a challenge for you. We have the whole Quran, 
and we have the hadith and I want you to show me where Muhammad gets circumcision all right all right people don't flood the text with the same question I saw you about the caliphate we will see and then he says is it true uh, uh, you know first of all circumcision circumcision when Jesus he did circumcision because first Jesus is born of the Jews he is born between the Jews and he was circumcised in a young age circumcision is a must for everyone who is born of the children of Israel so when Jesus he did that he is following the tradition and the law his family they are following that in the same time Jesus he made it clear you know circumcision made for a reason it's made for a reason it's better for health better for fighting illness and diseases especially at that time so it was made for a reason it was you know God do not care for a little tiny piece of of, of, uh, of uh, uh, skin in your private part this is not for God you're not doing it for God you are he, anything God he said to the to the person he to do he asked him to do for his benefit and that's why Jesus said about Saturday he said Sabbath was made for the man not the man was made for Sabbath God don't care really for the day he care for you the day is made for you so God he knew that some people abuse abusing his authority you know uh, forcing their servant to work 24 hours seven days a week and they give them no break so enforcing the sabbath was for the benefit of the man against the greed of the man otherwise god don't care really you want to work seven days a week go so when a person became so silly and he tried to focus in something let us focus on it why your prophet did not do circumcision Yet he is claiming that he is following the step of Moses and he even, even he order you to circumcise yourself and even to circumcise women. And I want to know where Muhammad he got women circumcision from. Is that from Moses? Why in the world you want to circumcise a woman? What for? The man's circumcision was for health issue. The women circumcision for what? And you circumcise what? So a Muslim is like a person, he found the skin of a banana in the street and he think he is holding a banana. You are not holding a banana, my friend. What is the banana in your hand? Where is the circumcision of your prophet? And I will go with you now. As long you are talking about circumcision, which is given to Moses, Allah He gave the Jews order to keep the Sabbath. Why you don't follow the Sabbath? Why you Muslims you claim that Muhammad is following the step of Moses? How come Sabbath is not important for you? Sabbath is important for us as a Christians. Sabbath is any day you designate for God, not only Saturday, but it can be Saturday. However, how come Muhammad, he skipped the Sabbath? The Hadith says that Muhammad, he want to act differently. He don't want to use the Sabbath as the Jews and he don't want to use the Sunday as the Christians. So he chose what? He chose a Friday. So it was not Allah who asked him to do that. And let me show you that Muhammad was practicing Sabbath in the beginning. Because he lived, you know, he did live with the Jews. When Muhammad he called for the uh, 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 for the prayer, nobody come. Which day? Which day is that? That was Sabbath, not a Friday. Read carefully. Believers in Friday, when the call for a prayer is made try to attend the prayer 
Hmm. It says here Friday, how it is Saturday. Well, the Sabbath for the Jews started or start from the sunset at Friday. It's not like now you wait until 12 o'clock and that will be a new day. So in the day of a Friday, because the Muslims are practicing the Jewish tradition, for Muhammad is a puppy, follow the Jews. Everybody wanna go and buy his stuff before all stores close down, because by Friday afternoon, the market is closed. So in Friday, nobody come to pray. Why? Because Friday is going to be Saturday soon. So Muhammad, he had to make a special verse for a Friday prayer. Why the Muslims are not coming? I mean, wh why there's no problem in Thursday? The Muslims, they pray five times a day in the mosque. Not only in Friday. These people, they think it's only Friday. No. They have to pray. It's better to pray Jama'ah, which means group, in the mosque. Five times a day. So why only... Friday was a problem because in a Friday the Jews will shut down and Muhammad was following the Jews this is why Muhammad he was praying toward Jerusalem he is a Jewish puppy he tried to imitate the Jews and to do to look like a Jew to act like a Jew but he's not and the Jews refused him If you ask the Muslims, Muhammad was praying to which direction? Before he prayed to the Kaaba. Hmm? <laughs> they would say to you, Jerusalem. <laughs> Why? Why you are praying to Jerusalem and the Kaaba in next, is, is, is next door to you? Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Why he was praying to Jerusalem and then why he ignored Jerusalem? Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> if we go in the Quran you will find some verses speaking about those issues let us see Let us show some reference so we can laugh together. And I changed the Muslim to give us an answer for those things. In chapter 2, verse 144, let us open the screen. We certainly saw you, Muhammad often turn your face to the sky to the sky okay so we will shall instruct you to face Bibla that you like mm -hmm. <laughs> so at that time Muhammad was praying in which direction where he was he was praying to India all those years Muhammad praying to where the Muslim they will say to you to Jerusalem now look here what it says it's something very important very important you know usually when people read they don't notice 
what is really important in the in the text so we shall instruct you to face a qibla that you like this is the muslim translation in arabic it says tardaha which means you approve that's mean the kaaba is not holy the kaaba is not a holy place but there is something happened made muhammad like to pray to the kaaba what was that if we go and check the hadith we will find muhammad he was instructed by his boss umar ibn al-khattab to change the direction of the prayer to do what to change the direction of the prayer it was umar al-khattab who changed from jerusalem to mecca Uh, as you see this is Sahih Hadith so the Muslim cannot say this is fabrication Umar he said Allah agreed with me in three things Allah agreed with, uh, with Umar Umar who is the Prophet in Islam Umar actually Muhammad he says if there is a Prophet will come after me it's going to be Umar <laughs> Omar, he said, I agreed with Allah in three things, or my Lord agreed with me in three things. Oh Allah, and etc. He count how many of them. Okay, what is exactly Allah he agreed with, with, with Omar? The divorce and the exchange of the wives of Muhammad, the hijab, and the Kaaba. Read it. The Kaaba, I said, O oh Allah Messenger, would that you took the station of Abraham as a place of a prayer? Who said that? Omar. Muhammad was not praying to the Kaaba. And here we go, Omar saying that Allah agreed with me. So Muhammad, the, 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 the scam Muhammad, he took the advice of Omar. And he made the verse saying, Allah, he told me to pray to the Kaaba. But in fact, it was Omar. All those things you see in front of you, it was from Omar, including the hijab. And always when Muhammad, he want to make people follow something, he say, Allah, said that to me. When the fact, as you see, it was Umar who said that to him. And then you will find that the Quran came as I said, Umar, he said. Allah, not only he take the words of Umar. No. Allah, He copied it. So the verses came down as I said. As I said, why you? Why Allah he is taking the word of Omar as he said? Any Muslim can tell us? The Muslim they say to us that nobody can make Quran like the Quran, and then we find that Allah copying Omar word by word. What do you think? Word by word. But Muslim, they say nobody can make Quran. And then we find that Allah taking the Quran from Umar word by word. Read with me. What of this reference? Look. 
Hur kommer ni? Look how many. And here you see something very important. Anyone notice with me what is the last line in this hadith here? I will give you the link for this hadith. Do you notice the last line, guys? Anyone notice something really, really horrible? Do you? What What do you notice? What is What is the problem there? Anyone notice the problem? So this verse came the same as I had said was revealed. The same what? The same what? The same as the same I had said. <laughs> <laughs> but remember nobody can make Quran so Allah is copying Quran from Omar so Muhammad the scam he took what Omar said and he make a Quran as simple as that so the verse revealed the same as I have said I mean do you want more more proof so everything your prophet is a, have you, is a scam. Your circumcision is a scam. He's copying the Jews. Your salat is a scam. Your fasting is a scam. You know, Muhammad, he, he came, he said to the, the, to the Jews, what is this? What you are fasting? What you, what you are fasting? Hmm? He said, this is uh, the fasting when Musa, he passed, uh, he crossed the sea. He said, oh, I am more close to Musa than you. And he started fasting it. No, what? So it's not Allah who told him to fast it. Have you ever heard of a prophet of God? He fast just because he heard a Jew. Saying, this is when Musa crossed the sea. We fasted. What if the Jew is lying? Read carefully and love. The book of fasting, the day of Ashura, the day of what? Ashura. Now the Muslims are even confused about Ashura. They don't even know this is the day of the Jews or this is the day of the pagan. They are, you know, what, what a cult. Ibn Abbas said, Allah pleased with him, reported that Allah Messenger came to Medina. Medina, remember, was, the name of the Medina was not Medina. Medina is just a word, means city. Very silly name. It was Yathrib. Muhammad later he changed the names and many of you they might say how come Muhammad he called himself the praised one and there's many people their name is Muhammad my friend those who converted to Islam and they used to have a name don't agree with Islam they force them to change their names just put that in your account there's many people who they after they convert to Islam when Muhammad conquered them he forced them to change their names so he came to the Medina and he found the Jews observing the fast of the day of Ashura. They, the Jews, were asked about, about it and said, they said, ah, it is, it, it is the day which Allah granted victory to Musa and his people, children of Israel, over the Pharaoh. And we observe it, fast out gratitude to him. Upon this, the messenger of Allah said, huh? We have a closer connection to with Musa than you. And then he command and observe the fast of that day. Do you see it? How you are a prophet of God, shouldn't you receive an order from your God? Maybe this is the maybe this is tradition is false. Maybe you should not do that. Shouldn't Muhammad wait for Allah to say to him, fast that day? This is fasting, this is not a joke. Just because the Jews are fasting that day, Muhammad he make it a fasting day. And yes, Abi. Is it, is it this is a pagan day? The Muslims are confused. If you search for the word Ashura, like here it says the Jews were fasting, right? But if we search for Ashura, we will find that this is not the day for the Jews. <laughs> <laughs>
will come to Islam. <laughs> if I uh, if I search right now, let I will do this in front of you. If I take the word Ashura and I search it in the search engine, and remember I was going to make the video short. I wasn't planning to come actually. It's very cold, but uh, uh, why is not copying correctly? Let us try again. So we copy the word and we post it in the search engine. All right. Read how many hadith about this day. He heard that Ibn Abbas, when he asked about the fast of Ashura, I said I did not know that the Prophet fasted any day because it's virtue, it's okay, except the day, meaning the month of Ramadan and the day of Ashura. So Muhammad he used to fast Ashura first and then Ramadan came after. Muhammad, he said, even Ashura can even, if you fast it, it can delete your sin, can erase your sin. The Messenger of Allah observed uh, someone fasting on the day of Ashura and command to fast that day. Okay. Muhammad, later he changed his mind. The Prophet says, whoever wishes may fast on the day of Ashura. <laughs> what a Prophet. <laughs> okay. Uh, all those hadith and look what Muhammad said here about this at this day the messenger of Allah was asked about observing the the fasting of Ashura hmm? uh, uh, he said if you fast it if you fast it is going to erase the sin of the preceding year look how important it is one day later the Muslim forget about it suddenly Muhammad, he came with Ramadan, which is coming from the Sabian, the Sabian, they fast Ramadan. And he canceled, this is why he's saying, whoever wants you, if you wish, fast it. But how it was, I mean, where Muhammad, he got this information from, he just learned from the Jews to fast this day. If this guy, he learned that this day is a Jew fasting day, how he come to know that if you fast this day is going to erase your sin for the preceding year? You see the scam? Allah never told him to fast it. Angels never told him to fast it. He saw a Jew in the street. He says, oh, we are fasting. Why you are fasting? Oh, today, the day uh, uh, Moses, he crossed the sea. Muhammad, he ordered him to fast it. And then he come with his own reasoning. He told him something from where? He himself, he learned about the fasting from the Jew. He himself, he learned that this day is a Jewish day. Then how he come to the conclusion that if you fast this day will erase your sin for the last year? And what kind of religion if you fast one day all your sin for the last? So all what I need to do, I will, I will, I will be doing all kind of sin for non-stop for the last 365 days. And when the day come, I will fast and that's it. I'm clean. See how easy? Uh, Jamal Yusuf is saying to me something. Okay, Jamal. Let us show you what Jamal he said. Where is the word of Jamal? Where is the word of Jamal? Okay. Thank you, Jamal, for the advice. Jamal Yusuf, he cannot answer us, so he's upset. Smile, Jamal. We took a selfie for you. Jamal, he cannot tell us why Muhammad was praying to Jerusalem and then Omar, he changed it to the Kaaba, which means Omar is the one who made the Quran and Omar is Allah. Jamal cannot explain to us why fasting Ashura can erase the sin of the previous year when Muhammad, he just learned about it from the Jews. So what Jamal, he suggests to us, how about you get off your ass and follow your religion, go pray or something, Hmm. Are you following your religion? You don't. If you follow your religion, you should not open a TV. You should not listen to music. You should not watch computer. You cannot, should not be here. You should not use anything made by the kuffar. You should not eat their food. You should not, even the food, by the way, they say to you that the food of the Christians is halal. 
So why, so why you are saying I want, I want to eat halal food? If the food of the Christian is halal for you, why you go in the market buying halal food? If anything the Christian do is halal, <laughs> hypocrite people. So anyway, you pray, but you don't. You pray. You pray to who? If I ask you now, Jamal, you pray to who? You don't know who's Allah. I don't know who's Allah. You have no idea. I challenged Mr. Jamal if he would like to call me and tell me who is Allah. What do you think, guys? Do Jamal dare to call and just tell us who is Allah? You pray, okay, you pray to who? A God, he has two hands in the right shoulder. He have one shin. And he sit in a chair. Any other information? No, you didn't. they are not Abrahamic. You see, this is the biggest fight lie. You, you, you hear it in TV. Yeah, you are watching too much Trump, my friend. This is in the movie of Trump and Israel, the peace agreement of Abraham. The fact is, Islam is not Abrahamic. What make Islam Abrahamic? Tell me. Did Abraham kiss black stones? Did he? Show us. Did Abraham, even the Muslim, they say that Abraham, he built the Kaaba. Can you prove that? Anyone knows how we can refute the lie which Muhammad and they repeat from Muhammad. They are victim of Muhammad. I feel sorry for them. How we can refute the lie of Muhammad that Abraham he built or he raised the Kaaba because the one, the first one who built the Kaaba supposedly is Adam and before him the angels. Anyone remember how we can refute this lie? <clears throat> If we ask Jamal, Jamal, who is the one who built the Kaaba? Can you prove that Moses parted the sea? Well, you know, uh, uh, this is a good question. Can you prove that? So I, uh, let me ask you the same question. How you believe in it then? I'm asking you about your religion. What is your proof? For me, even there is there is a scientific uh, uh, study. They say yes, in certain time the sea was in such a place and then move, etc. So, but there's no camera at that time to record the event. So it might be true, it might be fiction, no problem. But you Muslims, you have no witnesses for anything. We have witnesses that Moses. There's a history written about Moses was in Egypt. We have history written about Moses came from Egypt. We have history about the whole nation was in, 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 of Israel was in Egypt and run away from Egypt. What is the proof that Abraham was? Which historian report that? And now I'm asking you, if there is any historian reported that Abraham, he was in Mecca? Anyone? Do you know anyone? Nobody. So your Muslim stories, always Muslim stories, there is no witness for it. There is no witness even there's Muhammad. Muhammad himself, who is Muhammad? If, if we read the Quran from the beginning to the end, who is Muhammad? Where Muhammad was born? Nothing in the Quran. Who is the father of Muhammad? Nothing in the Quran. Who is the mother of Muhammad? Nothing in the Quran. Which year he was born? Nothing in the Quran. Who is his grandfather? Nothing in the Quran. So what is in the Quran? Now I ask question, I say, do you know how we can refute the lie that Abraham, he built the Kaaba? Anyone remember? Anyone remember? If we read the Quran, chapter 2 speak about from 125, 127, etc. 
So in 125 it says, and remember the house, we made the house, the Kaaba, the center, the century of mankind, blah, 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 okay? It doesn't say really mankind, it says for people, people of, of, of the Arab. And then it says here that they took from the station of Abraham, why the Kaaba was the house of Abraham? In Arabic here it says, Maqam Ibrahim. Maqam is a place of, 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 of living. Abraham was living in that house. So this is not the house of Allah. And if you ask Jamal and the Muslims, was Abraham a prophet? They would say yes. Okay, was Ishmael a prophet? They would say yes. Okay, is Muhammad from Ishmael? They would say yes, which many Christians, because they are following naive priests, you know, in Christian churches, many, many dummy. They repeat that Ishmael is from, uh, uh, Muhammad is from Ishmael, because they are dummy. I remember Abraham, okay. I remember Ishmael, okay. What about them? Abraham and Ishmael is the one who raised the Kaaba because the Kaaba was destroyed by the flood of Noah. And uh, there's a mountain, you know, next to the Kaaba in Mecca. He hide the black stone inside his belly. So when the flood is over, the mountain, he spit the stone out so Abraham can see it. And he put it back. So now, if you ask the Muslims, they will say that Abraham was there, Ishmael was there, and even Ishmael is the father, grandfather of Muhammad. So how you explain to me this verse? Let us read and love. Was Ishmael a messenger of Allah? They say yes. To who? They say to the Arab, he is the father of the Arab. But in chapter 34, verse number 44, it says, there was nobody before Muhammad as a messenger of Allah in Mecca. Read it and love. Read it and love. We did not send to them, who? The Arab. Any book to study, nor a messenger to warn them before you so how you say Abraham was there any Muslim how you like yourself saying Abraham was there and Ishmael was there and now this verse saying there's nobody before Muhammad came to the Arab and to Mecca specifically here. Obviously the Quran is a book of fabrication. Muhammad, he forgot what he said about Abraham in different verse. So if we go to chapter two, verse 125, 126, 127, we will see that Abraham was there and then from his seeds, supposed they are the Muslims. Because Abraham, he said, make us uh, Muslims. And make our offer of a spring should be Muslims. Okay. And the Muslim, they say that Abraham is the grand, 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 grandfather of Muhammad. Okay. So how this verse says, there is no one before Muhammad to Mecca and to the Arab. <clears throat> hmm? Ahmad Ma'roof, he's saying, show me a mistake. I mean, I'm showing you a mistake. So what I'm showing you, Shish Kebab? What I'm showing you, Ahmed Maruf. Ahmed Maruf is asking us to show you a mistake in the Quran. Everything in the Quran is the Quran itself is a mistake. How Ishmael was there, how Abraham was there, how Adam even was there, how they warned the people to believe in Allah, and then the Quran says there's nobody was before Muhammad.
He is the first warner. The Muslim, they say that Abraham have a book. Ishmael have a book. Where is the book of Ishmael? Hey Muslims, where is the book of Abraham? What happened? Where is it going? I mean, all the books before Islam is gone. What's wrong with this God, Allah? Whatever books he sent, they, they fly? Okay. So Abraham have a book. Ishmael have a book. And yet the Quran says there was nobody before Muhammad as a warner and no books was sent to them. So the Christians who was living there, they are who? I mean, have you ever heard of a stupidity like this? The Christians who were living there, according to the Muslims, if nobody, if those people there, they never have a book. So what the Quran says, we send the Isa, the Injil, and there's a the Christians, and Khadija was the 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 uh, 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 the niece of Warak ibn Nufal, or the or or the supposed he is uh, like his her uncle from like you know little little bit far, which is really the real father of Muhammad, but he was a, a priest supposed according to Muhammad. And mean, by the way, the Muslims, the funny thing about them, they say to you, there is no proof that Khadija, she was a Christian. So you, why you make you say that in your speeches when you try to, to fool the Christians? They go and, they, and, and, and when they speak to Christian, they say, Khadija, Khadija was a Christian, the first wife for the Prophet Muhammad. But in YouTube, they say, no, there's no proof. Well, we can prove that easy. You know, those, those people in YouTube, they are a bunch of dummies. Those who claim to have knowledge. Zakir Naik, he says, there's no proof that, uh, you know, uh, all of them, all of them. Did that, he said the same. But we can prove it in two seconds. Okay, Jamal, I will open Skype for you, my friend. Give me, give me a few minutes. If you go in the Quran, in the Hadith, sorry. If somebody says to you that there is no way to prove that Khadija, she was a Christian, what do you do? You go to this Hadith. When Muhammad received the Quran from the angel Jibreel and the angel Jibreel squeezed him three times and no mayonnaise came out. And then Muhammad, he came at home and he could not find an answer for what happened. He didn't know what happened. He's scared. He's terrified. The Hadith described that. He was shaking. He was freaking out. He said, cover me, cover me, the, the Thiruni, the Thiruni. So Muhammad was freaking out. And then what, what Khadija, she did. Khadija, she took him from his hand and she took him to her, to Waraq ibn Nufal. See, he came scared, terrified, cover me, cover me. And then Khadija, he said to her, Oh Khadija, what's wrong with me? Hey, Muhammad, you are crazy, you are mentally ill. This is what's wrong with you, you saw nothing. Then he told her about what happened to him. And then he said, I fear that something wrong, something may happen to me. Muhammad, he lost his mind. Khadija said, never, but I have a glad tiding, but for by Allah, you will never be disgraced. And then she took him to where? She accompanied him to Waraq ibn Nufal, the priest. So when they say Khadija was not a Christian, according to them, and by the way, she is not a Christian, she is Nasara. It's a Christian cult like Jehovah's Witnesses. So she was not a Christian cult. So if she is not Christian, why she take him to the Christian priest? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, you have your husband have a problem. And what do you do? You take him to the Christian priest? Do you understand what I'm saying? You take one of your family to a priest if you are a Christian, and he himself have to be Christian too. Otherwise, how even Muhammad he agreed to go with her to someone is a Christian? In this case, it was Nasara, which is a Christian cult. Let us open our pal talk for Mr. Jamal, so like he like to call us.
All right. Okay, Jamal, I received a text from you. I will call you, my friend. Please answer me when I call you. Jamal is not answering. Hmm. Are you there, Jamal? What happened? Let us call you again. Are you calling? I cannot see. <coughs> Hello? Hello? Yes, Mr. Jamal. How are you doing, my friend? Hi, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm fine. So, what do you like to say to us about your religion? Go ahead. Okay. So, per first of all, um, I was just scrolling through um through YouTube, and I just I just came across your stuff. Like, I've never seen you before. This is this is the first time I've seen you. Uh -huh. So, I I like what? Can you just break down what 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 the channel is about? Like, are you what religion do you follow? Well, we here we are. The, we know we discuss about Islam, and uh, I believe Islam is a false religion, and Muhammad is a false prophet. Okay. Hmm. That so do you? Because the way you're talking, it seemed like you were uh, you're Jewish. Oh yeah, I'm a Jew. Sometime I'm a Jew, but today is not Saturday. You know. Okay. So yeah. what what is your what what are your claims? Your claims that are that the the prophet is the prophet Muhammad son isn't 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 a prophet. Well, when you say a prophet, can you give me a prophecy? He said to make him a prophet. When you say somebody is a prophet, he prophesied. Give me, here we go, the, the Quran in front of me. Give me a prophecy, Muhammad, he said, it's come to be true. Um, well, if you look at a bunch, he's, he's, he's prophesied that uh, men will start acting like women and women will start acting like men. They start dressing, that's a big one. Uh -huh. That's one that, he, that's coming he, into he, profession. He prophesied that, but this is what happened in his time. And there was always a gay homosexual in his house. And your prophet was a okay, gay. He's and, you, that, um, and your prophet was a homosexual himself. My uh, the prophet saw his son was homosexual. Yes. Do you do you kiss? Uh, based on what? Do you kiss men down there, Billy? Uh, I do not personally, and I've never seen anything in either the Quran or the Hadith to, okay. that. Um, All right. Here we that, go. That, that says that. Well, this is your prophet. Hugging and kissing a man, exchanging kissing and hugging, and where they are kissing down there, Billy. Read carefully. Abu Abdul Rahman, etc., etc. Quoting blah blah blah. It's here. It's here. It blah 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 blah. Okay, and then it says, uh, while he was giving uh, to Justin and was taking, talking to the people and making them laugh, the Prophet poked him under his ribs with a stick. He said, "Let me take ret retaliation." He said, "Take retaliation." He said, huh, you are wearing a shirt, but I am not. The prophet, then he raised his shirt and the man embraced him, began to kiss his side. And then he said, this is what I want, Messenger of Allah. Do you do that yourself? You, now the guy, um, and who? The, the guy is topless. Your prophet is not topless. Uh -huh. The guy, he said to him, well, you are, um, this is not fair. I am topless and you yeah. are not. So Muhammad, he left up his shirt and the guy started mm -hmm. kissing him in Kashhihi. Kashhi is not only his side, it's down his belly. Okay. What kind uh, what so kind of a practice practice? As you tell me, do you do that? You know, you said to me you don't do that, right? Do men do that okay. usually? Who uh, and this who is this narrated by? This is narrated. They have all the narration, you know. It says here Sahih in chain. So you don't have you can't complain. So not Ibi Dawood. Sahih in chain yes. it says by who? Because, Five. Uh, because you sound you sound like a like an like an like an Arab, so you and you probably know a bit more about the religion than the people in your comments. So you know that we follow a set people set set um set people who 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 can narrate hadith. 
So if it doesn't go back to, I, I can't name all of them. My, my, I, my, my friend, my friend. I'm 19. This is, this is, I, I, I this don't is know your website, much, my friend. This is your website. Uh, my website. I don't, I don't, we personally, yeah, I this, don't take too much from websites. If, I don't when take, it comes to I, I don't, hadith, I, I don't take, take from either. I don't take from website too. But we are in the or, internet. We are in the internet and you are not sitting next to okay. me and we don't have the book. So we have uh -huh. to use a website. So this is Sunan Abi Dawood, hadith number 5224. And it says here, Sahih yeah, and yeah. Shane. Sunan okay, Abi so Dawood. Abu Dawood, say that again? Yes, Abi Dawood, 5224. Uh, All right? 5224. Yes. For sure. General behavior? The the the, the book, yes, general behavior. Book number 43. I'm not a prophet and really sure in many places. Kiss, kiss his side, and he said, This is kiss. Okay, so I'm. Um, you are wearing a shirt, but I am not the Prophet Sallallahu Then raised his shirt and the man embraced him and began to kiss his side. Mm. Okay. Mm. Under his rib. So his side, so his stomach. So you you at first said it was under the belly and now I'm reading that it's uh okay. under the rib. So Hold it's basically on. your midsection. Oh yes, no, 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 no. We can we can go to the dictionary and see what kasha is. You know, so it's not up to me. You see, that this is the Muslim translation. If you speak Arabic, you can go right now and search for, for the word. Suddenly, secondly, do you kiss a man in his belly? I don't kiss a man. In his okay. Belly, and this so now, so, no so now, so so now, so now you are trying. Belly. Now you are trying to fix it. You you are the one who said it is not down his belly. It is his belly. You are trying to fix it, but is that a behavior of a prophet of God? He take off his shirt. He lift up his shirt. The guy he go under his shirt. Now they are both are naked. Here we go. Hang up. Where do you go? Hello. All right, my friend. We lost you. No problem. So, my bad, my bad. Okay. You see, anyway, this is this is can be uh, can be a problem for you if you want. Can be no problem. He is your prophet. And maybe he's a crazy, what we okay. can do. But let us say, for the sake of argument, was Muhammad yeah. a normal person? Was he a normal person? He was one of the greatest beings ever walked to say he was more so yes. what? Okay. Yeah, when it comes down to when it comes to human standards, he was he was the greatest of the humans but he's no more than human now okay so what make him a greater than a human standard what like what for his devotion to the to, to to worship of allah what devotion he made verses that's the only thing that okay we... okay let us see how much devoted he yeah. was was your prophet say, yeah. did, did your prophet make verses in the quran saying any woman she want to give herself for sex for him and this is a privilege for him the prophet actually had no verses in the quran no no okay the what? prophet has nothing to do with the quran the quran is from allah okay so why allah he made the verse for him says any woman she want to give herself to the prophet what does this have to do with allah muhammad can you had, say the verse again chapter 33 verse number 50. what is the verse chapter 33 verse number 50. not yet can you just can you just repeat it like just saying it chapter 33 verse number 50. Yeah, and what was like what was it says, in the verse? and the woman she yeah. and the woman she offer herself to the prophet, so the prophet can if her. The Muslim do translate that as just thank you, which is if her. But they translate here the word Mary. Yeah, thank you. Okay. nikah is, is is a form of Mary. Yeah, if nikah is is pre Mary. So that's you, yeah. that's not a true. So that's if not. you want to take it as effing, that's up to you, but. No, I've grown up my whole life with the word that I use is nikah. Is, okay, is, is Mary, yeah. if you go right now to Muslim chat room and program and you enter the chat room and I say I want to do nikah, what will happen to you? What the Muslims would do? Are you okay? So you're I can tell by your your accent that you're an Arab man. You see you my friend, my friend, why you don't answer? You don't why don't answer the question? Why don't answer the question? If you go to chat room right now, I've never been and in you say, chat room. No I problem. Can't lie, but if you but say if you if you go to a family, Allah, if you go to you, if you go to if you want to get married and you go and say I want to do nikah, they will they will they will shoot you because you are saying I want to do if your daughter. I personally <laughs> I've never used the word nikah in okay. that manner. I don't know what chat rooms you're going thank in, you. brother. So but thank you. So, so thank you. So you so you agree you must tell you don't use it. Why? Because it's a dirty word. 
Secondly, why Allah? No, it's not nikah, brother. Nikah. Okay. Are you trying okay. to? Okay. I speak Arabic. Are you trying to? Are you trying to tell me that nikah doesn't the, mean Okay, Arabic? that's that's wonderful. As long as you speak Arabic, I want to. I want to make I you. Speak, I don't speak too well. I speak decently, but I know enough that nikah is 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 the Islamic version. I guess the Islamic version of marriage. You get a nikah before you marry them. All right, no problem. Let us uh, let us try to prove that it's true or not. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, I will put for you something in the screen as long as you speak Arabic. Give me a second. Um, oh, I, I don't have the stream open. Are you putting it on the stream? Uh, just give me a second, you know. Uh, I will put it for you. And I can give you the link even in uh, uh, in Pal Talk. You can click on it and open it. Just give me a minute. <clears throat> I'm just uh... <clears throat> okay. You are a Muslim Sunni, right? Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah, I'm a Muslim Sunni, yeah. All right, that's wonderful. And I think I was banned from your stream because I can't see it anymore, but... Uh, Why well, you are banned from my stream? I, I, I did not ban you. And you can, still you can see the stream anyway, even if you are banned in the chat. That doesn't make sense. Uh, I searched up Christian, can't find anything, but... Anyways, yeah. Um, let me let me open the tafsir. The, the, this is tafsir Al Qurtubi. I will give you the link in a second. Your YouTube is Christian Prince, right? Eh? My friend, in YouTube, there's tons of. Let me give you the link so you can open it. Maybe you close it by mistake. Let me give you the link for the broadcast again. Click at okay. click at the chat at the at the at the window. I say, uh, we are chatting in in Pal Talk. This is the link. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Okay, I, no, I have it open. It's right here. Oh, sorry. I'll I've give you, it. i give you the wrong link. Okay. Uh, I've got the stream open now. It's good now. All right, no problem. Uh, okay. Let us see. Let me let me give you the link for uh, for the reference. Now I will give you the book of Al Qurtubi. Uh, here we go. Open this link, please, from your side, and I will put it on the screen in my side too. And here it says how Shaitan he have children. Let us open it in the screen. So everybody can see it, including you, or you can click at the link which I gave you. This is Tafsir al Qurtubi, and, okay. you, and you are a Sunni, so we have no problem, right? Okay, it says here, yeah. Uh, in the Tafsir, it says, Sa'arin uh, Rajul, a person he asked me, uh, do do yeah. Iblis do Iblis have a wife? I said, This is a wedding I did not I did not attend in the in Dalika or Sulam Ashuduhu. Uh, then he says, but and then the Quran says, Are you going to take him and his offspring as lords? You're trying to, dude. I see what you're doing here, man. I see what you're doing. No, no, wait, wait, you, wait, wait, wait. You under, you know what the, wait, 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 you wait, know wait, what that. Wait, 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 no, we are, mean we are talking. Offer. Hold on, no, it means that. It means that, my friend, read. We are reading. It does the that you know that. Okay, can you read for me? It says waqala mujahid. Can you no, read I'm from there? I'm sorry, go. I'm sorry. Okay. You go. You, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can, can you read for me and translate? Go ahead. Waqala mujahid. Do you see why it says waqala mujahid in the middle of the page? Okay, read it and translate, please. Where is this? Uh, in the middle of the page, it says, I see 
قال مجاهد إن okay. إبليس أدخل فرجه في فرج نفسه فباض خمس بيضات فهذا أصل ذريته ذريته وقيل read carefully إن الله تعالى خلق خلق له في فخذه اليمنى ذكرا وفي الفج في اليسرى فرجا فهو ينكح هذا بذا بهذا translate go ahead you translate it I I I understand a bit but not not too well. okay you, you Allah, Allah, so Allah he he created for shaitan a penis in the in the right thigh and a vagina in the left thigh so he do nikah by this to that you said to me nikah mean marriage shaitan is marrying himself nikah in, in, so what, what what this is is this this is hadith you're saying my friend this is the tafsir al qurtubi and this is mujahid this is, and this is a hadith from mujahid mujahid you know one of the great names in the history of islam and companion so he said that allah created for shaitan a penis in the right leg and a vagina in the left leg and he do nikah but to this by that but you said to me the word nikah mean marriage is shaitan marrying himself now so what is so what is this what is this hadith called so i can search it up myself my friend i'm giving the reference i give you the link this is al-qurtubi al-qurtubi 10 page number 420 all right and you can go to volume one page number 291 as it's shown in the screen this is not my website this is your islam, islam port this is tafsir al-qurtubi all right as it is i'm showing it in the screen so according to your religion Shaitan have a penis because they are asking, okay, the Quran says, Allah said, are you going to worship Shaitan and his children? So the Muslims are asking, okay, but Allah, he sent Shaitan alone to the earth. He don't have a wife. Adam have Eve. Shaitan he don't have. So you're a prophet. He come with the solution that Shaitan have a penis in the right leg and have a vagina in the left leg. So when you want to have sex, you do nikah. He do shake this with this. And he entered this into this. This is nikah. Nikah. It's mean to f. So when you say to me the word nikah mean uh, marriage, well here we go. This is your Islamic books too. It says that he is doing nikah. Nikah to himself. He's marrying himself. It says he have a vagina and he have a penis. And what he do? He do. فهو فهو ينكح هذا بهذا. Um. Okay, I clearly you've had you've had this one set up for for a bit. I I, I don't have anything. I don't have any knowledge on this. No problem. I, I I respect your honesty. So let us go back to zero. Forget about everything we said about the stupid things. I mean, this is stupid, don't you agree? Shaitan have a penis in the right leg and vagina in the now, left. Personally, leg. I've I've never heard of uh, about this. Mm -hmm. No problem. Tell me something you heard. What make you? You said Muhammad is a great person. He's great in what? He's a prophet. Is he a prophet? Ah, we lost him again. Hey. Hello. So you said Muhammad is a prophet, correct? Uh, yeah, I would. Okay, and you said that Muhammad he he predicted that people will be act like women, correct? Uh -huh. Keep losing him. He's not answering. Uh, Abu Sadat, why you don't call me and help your friend? Abu Sadat saying, read the chapter 3, 33, verse number 49. <laughs> let us see. Call me and let us see if you can do better. Instead of telling me, read the chapter 33, verse 49, I can go there. It still doesn't make any difference. Are you brave enough to come and call me and read it for me? Or you know what will happen if you call me. That's why you are hesitating. You don't dare. Here we go. Your friend is not even answering my call. Let us call him again.
Hello? Yeah. Okay. You said to me that your prophet, he predicted that women, the men, they will act like women and, women and men will act like women. But gays and lesbian are yeah. exist since since before Muhammad, my friend. Isn't it the Quran? In chapter 4, verse number 15, speak about lesbian. Hmm? Hello, can you give me a second? Yeah, sure, no problem. <clears throat> Yeah, hello. Can you um, can you just talk to talk to uh, talk to this guy for a second, okay? Talk to who? It's, a, it's it's my it's my dad. He's uh, he knows a bit more about about All right. this stuff. No so problem. You can... He is more yeah. than welcome. So we have to change now. Yeah. Go to zero. Assalamualaikum. Yes. Yeah. Wa alaikum as salam. Yes. So uh, we are talking with the, yes. we are talking with your son, and he said the Prophet Muhammad is a prophet. So I said to him, what make him prophet? Assalamualaikum. Yes. What make him prophet? You know, when you say somebody is a prophet, what make him prophet? Um, what made him a prophet is the, the message that he got from Allah. And what is that? I mean, a prophet, somebody is a prophesy, right? Some, somebody tell us about the future. Not only he give a message, I can give you a message now, claim to be a prophet too. Uh, no, you have to define a prophet. What, what does a prophet mean to you? Because uh, a prophet is not the, what it means in English. A prophet in English is someone that... Uh, prophesizes uh, what happens in the future but in uh, Islam uh, that is not the definition of a prophet so what is in Islam uh, then? In, in, in Islam a prophet is a Nabi and it's different from the English uh, meaning of the word prophet my friend the word Nabi in Arabic is, is coming from the word Tanabba'a tanabba which means he tell the future yes. ta ta he told the future so it's the same no 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 it does not mean that he tells the future so this what? is khata. how the, 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 it comes from the word Naba khaba. Hmm. Khabara, it, okay. it comes with a khabar. It hmm. comes with a khabar with the okay, uh, information. No problem. Not so, tanabba, so, so, so we can future. say, okay, so I can understand from you right now. According to you, Muslims, Muhammad is not a prophet. Muhammad is a news teller. No, the Prophet Sallallahu is a Nabi. He's exactly. Not, uh, we, if we're going to speak in English, uh, English was not the language that uh, the religion okay. was revealed in. We but speak but in you, Arabic. no problem. But you just so but you just told me the but, Prophet said Nabi. But you just told me that he don't tell the future. So he tell what? He tell just the news, correct? The the news is both about the past, the future, and the present. Okay, but if, not just the if, future. But if if nobody tell you what is going to happen, if if nobody knows what will happen in the future, that is a prophecy. If he is telling you telling you what will happen in the prophet uh, in the no, future, see, you know you're mixing uh, you're mixing two things. You're using both English to defend your point and Arabic at the same time. You have to pick and choose. All right. The religion so, was revealed in Arabic. No problem. It's in friend. Arabic. Okay. The the khabar is so, uh, uh, the, the what came before and what is present and what is coming in the future. So it is not the prophet that he is telling us just about the future. He is telling us about what happened in the past, about the past nations as well. So you cannot just use one language to define and say he is not a prophet. No, it, it, we are not speaking in English. The prophet is a Nabi, Nabiyum min Allah, Mursal. So, so you have to make, we have to, in order for us to uh, have a discussion, yeah. you have to, we have to be on the same page from the beginning. We are not on the same page. You're saying a prophet, meaning he's telling just news. Okay, so what? So, what, so okay, so news. okay, so what Muhammad told you to make you to make him a prophet according to you, like what? He said he he uh, he received the revelation from Allah. That is what made him a prophet. Okay, what is the revelation? What is the revelation he received? You don't know the revelation? Yeah. What what revelation? What he did? The Quran. What is what? Okay, what is the Quran? What is the Quran telling us? The Quran is telling us about it guides us towards the the straight path. What it is, tells us about what happened in, in the past. It tells us about what happened at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It tells us about what will happen in the future. Hmm. Like what? Give me an example. Uh, you, have you heard about the Ad and the Thamud? Okay. Om Firaun. All okay. these people before okay. us, okay. Well, Mutafikat, 
Okay, so I heard about them, but nothing Muhammad told me is true. As as an example, I will give you an example. You, you, you're jumping. No, I'm not. You, you, I'm you're not. jumping from. You, you're asking. You're asking me a question, uh -huh. and then you're coming to your own conclusions. No, I mean, you asked me. No, you said okay. what did Muhammad tell you okay, about? Tell and me, I told okay, you Muhammad told me about this and that. Okay, tell and then me. You say tell me nothing about that Muhammad something. said was true. No problem. Tell me about something Muhammad he said. It's true. Uh, about Fir'aun. Was like, Pharaoh not true? No, Pharaoh is not true because Muhammad he thinks Pharaoh is a name of a person, his family. This is his family. The Al of Pharaoh. No, 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 no. Is that, that is your understanding. No, 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 no. Okay, no, no. okay let us the see. The Pharaoh is well known. It, even there, there's, uh, only, th there, there. there's only one Pharaoh or many Pharaoh. Many Pharaoh. So why your prophet he keeps saying Al of Pharaoh? Yeah, do you know why? Why? Because Musa was sent to one Fir'aun. He was not sent to all of them. Oh, okay. But but he that said the reason. But he said uh, th that's exactly what I'm saying. So if he sent only to one, then he should not say no. But see, see he, he, he think you asked me. You asked me a question. He think for said, own, tell me something. My friend, no, hang on, hang on. Okay, hang on. What I mean? You told me. What I you mean? said no. Hang on. Mm -hmm. No, see, you are jumping. <laughs> you asked me a question. You said, tell me one thing that your prophet said that was true. Yeah. I said Fir'aun. No now problem. You're I mean, my, to friend, another thing. my friend, the word Pharaoh is existing. It the is Bible a problem. Too. It uh, is. My friend, my friend. It is a problem. The word Pharaoh. The word Pharaoh. The, the word Pharaoh exists in thousands of books, including the Bible. No, 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 so, no, no. That that was not your question. Stick to your question. Uh, my you question, asked me one is, okay, question. Okay, let me repeat and my I question. I answered your question. Okay, let me repeat you my question. You ask me questions, me and then you jump to other okay, questions. Okay, I will make it simple. If you're going to ask me questions, I will make it simple. And give me the courtesy to answer the question. Can I make it simple? Can we make it? No, simple? you cannot. Why you not? know why? Why? Because you have an agenda. Okay, I you have agenda. Me, you say what? Huh? You say you say to me what was the uh, the thing that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam received? What made him a prophet? I answered your question. You came with another question. I answered your question. No, you're you not come answer. with another no, question. Not answer. What did the prophet there's, say? There's, that there's a mistake you, here, that, my friend. You say he, so you he don't want me. So you don't want me this, to report the mistake. No. You don't want me to report the error to cover that Muhammad is a false <laughs> prophet. Okay, let me ask you. Which one Allah, according to Muhammad, which one Allah created first? The 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 yeah. See, the trees. See, I answered this. And no. then you come with another no, question. No, 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 I'm, 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 not, I'm not coming with like another question. Before. You are saying to me, Muhammad. Here we go, he will run away. He run away. Okay. Hang up, hang up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Run away. He said, you, you have your religion, I have mine. What a brave man. He said here, when a Jainakum in Ali Pharaoh. How you say Ali Pharaoh? In the Quran it says Ali Musa, Ali Pharaoh, Ali Ibrahim, Al his the people, the, the family, he thinks this is a family. He thinks Pharaoh is the name of a person. Al Musa. Al is not a word mean the. Some, some uh, people who don't speak Arabic, they say Al mean the. Don't be a fool. Al here mean the family. Al Pharaoh, Al Musa, Al Ibrahim. Because he cannot defend, he hang, you know, hang up. What a shame. No, 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 this is not you change the question. I'm not changing the question. You told me he told us about Pharaoh. So what about Pharaoh? Pharaoh is a name exists in thousands of books. We do not need even a book to know about him. I mean, who do not know about the Pharaoh? And why you hang up? What a great example to your son. <laughs> he rejected. <laughs> he rejected my call. <laughs> if you search for the word Al, copy the word Al. Here you see the foolishness of the one who wrote the Quran. Al. You will see the word appear in front of a name of a person only. Al Musa. Musa. Al Musa. Not the Musa, as someone says in the text. Al Pharaoh. 
آل إبراهيم آل يعقوب آل يعقوب جاكوب آل فرعون آل لوط So the one who wrote the Quran, he thinks Pharaoh is the name of a man. Do you see it? How many Al always the word Al repeated before a name of a person? Who is next? Be sure I have an agenda. I'm here to teach people about the cult of Islam. So agenda, what agenda? So why I'm here for to 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 uh, to play hide and seek? You have an agenda. And the second I ask him, okay, what kind of God? I mean, what kind of God do not know which one he created first? The trees or the stars? He run away. And look, they speak Arabic. That's a great you know, advantage. I mean, I will have somebody who speak Arabic. What do you want more? They speak Arabic. If the Arab don't dare to debate me, who's going to debate? Do we have any Muslim? Anyone? Nobody? All right, well, what a drama. I feel sorry for them. Muhammad is a prophet, but he is not a prophet. It's not like in English. Quran came in Arabic. Okay, so what? So he's a prophet? No, he's Nabi. What Nabi mean? Uh, mean uh, uh, you know uh, Naba? Uh, what does that mean? News. Okay, so what the news mean? He tell you about in the future, in the past. But this is a prophet. If somebody tell me about the future, this means he is prophesying. How he tell me about the future if he's a prophet? I'm calling him. He's not answering. He said, uh, he said, call me, but he is not answering. I don't know. Let's try again. Hello? Hello? Yes, Jamal. What um, happened? Why your father hang up? I don't understand. Okay, um, so I because it, it's actually true, bro. You 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 keep you keep going back. He he answered one question and you keep trying to you trying to you're trying to find just little things in, in no, stuff not, when you not, when you brought up four things. questions and he answered four questions. No, he is the one who mentioned Pharaoh. So I said to him, "How you say uh, the Pharaoh?" Okay, the the Pharaoh, the Pharaoh part. You speak Arabic, right? Yeah, you do. Hmm. So you you know there's a difference between Al Pharaoh and Al Pharaoh. My friend, this is not Al Pharaoh. It's Ali Pharaoh. I'm talking about Ali Pharaoh, not Al Pharaoh. So did Al Pharaoh not mean the the, the or the group of Pharaoh? It's not talking about the Al Pharaoh. No, Ali Pharaoh. The second you say Al, it's mean the family, like Ali Lut. Ali Lut, Ali, yeah. Ali Yaqub. Okay, so the family of Jacob, correct? Ali Yaqub. Yeah. Okay, so when you say Ali Pharaoh, that means Pharaoh is the name of a person because you say Ali Lut, 
Al Yaqub. No, Al I'll, tell you, I'll tell you, though, this huh. is the thing. If if it would have been Al Fir'aun, that means the family of the Pharaoh. Okay. So yes let us no? okay. Let us so see. So Al Fir'aun is the family of the Pharaoh. No, that's yes wonderful. No? Okay, the, fa I, I, the family I of I don't of, see too much Arabic, my friend, but I can understand my friend, my that friend. as well. Hey, I know you know we that go. as well. Okay, hold on. This is chapter fifteen, verse number fifty-nine. It says, "Al Lut, the household of Lut." Correct. But Lut is a name. Fir'aun isn't a name. Exactly. So Muhammad he is using Al before a person who is not a name. So he thought it's a name. That's why he used Alu Faraon. You cannot say Alu Faraon if Faraon is a title. You don't say Al the uh, Alu Alu Al Malik. You say you see always the word Al appear before a singular name, a name of a person. So Alu Yaqub, Alu Ibrahim, Alu Musa, Alu Lut, Alu etc. So all of those are family of an individual person. His name. Appear yeah. after the word Al. So when you say Al Faraon, you're a prophet. You think Faraon is the name of the person. Example. You know. In, in you chapter, know what's actually really funny. Chapter twenty-eight, verse number eight. Did your prophet say, uh, "And the Pharaoh"? That did he say, "And the Pharaoh"? Or he said, "The Pharaoh." Uh, he, he said, "Faraon wa Haman." Ila inna, you know what's in, funny? You know. Inna okay, faraona, this is this is crazy. Inna wa <laughs> Okay, Listen, uh -huh. I I actually watched a video about this not too long ago uh -huh. about the the use of the the, the term Fir'aun mm. and 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 it's funny because all the the, the so-called uh, uh, the word Fir'aun mm. you can you can go you can search this up and I, you if you if you are as in, intelligent as as as, as you, you, you you're, you're saying and you're, you're talking to these people you'll mm. know as well. That the, the, the term Fir'aun mm -hmm. only came after Musa. The word Fir'aun, mm -hmm. the word Fir'aun meant the house of the, the okay. house of the okay. king hold that on, lived there. You on, know that, hold, right? Hold on. So this is this is additional proof that Muhammad is a false prophet because when he do not know the name of the what king. What is that gotta do with anything? Hold bro? on. When he do not know the name of the person, he called him a king. When he knew the name of the person, he called him Pharaoh. So he thinks this is the name of a Pharaoh. Look with me. It says here, chapter no. twenty-eight, chapter twenty-eight, verse number eight. It says, "But you're in, you're just coming to that. A, you're coming down to my, that my conclusion friend, my friend, yourself, my friend, bro." My friend, if a Pharaoh is a title, shouldn't we put the word "the" before it? Al Pharaoh. But I'm telling. I just I just explained to you. Okay. That before I'm, I'm before Moses came, the no, problem, no problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. Hold on. Hold on. So shouldn't okay. he say why he say inna Pharaona wa Haman? Why he says that in you see this is Arabic. This is not uh, English. So in Arabic, yes, Pharaon Haman. In, yeah. In Arabic, when you say if if this is not a title, then like when we say Al Masih, why we have Al? Because it's a title, correct? Al Masih. Yeah. Okay, exactly. We don't mm -hmm. say we don't say Al Muhammad, correct? We say Muhammad. No. Exactly. So when we say Pharaoh alone in Arabic, it's mean he is a person who his name is Pharaoh. So but, it, but you also you, say, <laughs> there, there, you can say Al Masih and and there, there, you also say Masih ibn Maryam. Do, do, no, do you not hear no, people say no, that? No, you don't say. No, you don't say that. Yes, you do. You could say you know no. why you say. Okay, show me. Masih. Dude, in a, I say tahiyat okay. every single day. At the okay. end of the tahiyat, no, you no, say, my friend, show, um, okay, Allah show me. Allah me. Okay, Allah show, Allah show me. Show me. Show me. Al Masih al Dajjal. There's no because there's only there's one. No, if, it, if one, there if, is if, no, if a term is solely okay. dedicated towards you, then you it's it's not the version of that. It's just the the, the term is dedicated towards you. Yes, so no? look, look what you just said. If it is only one person, we say Al, correct? No. You just said that. You said if, because if the, he's a Messiah. Yes, listen, yes, 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 yes. Also, okay. but if the term is, uh -huh. is, 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 is solely dedicated towards you, mm. just like Pharaoh was, Pharaoh is the, it, before him, okay. they, were, it, they weren't Pharaohs. They were, they, the word Pharaoh was only used towards them, after, towards, towards the kings of Egypt after Musa. Before that, Pharaoh was used All right. for, All yes. Right. My friend. As long you mentioned to me at Dajjal, what is Al Masih al Dajjal mean? Masih al Dajjal is, is just is, is the Antichrist, the Fitna, the greatest Fitna, the Masih, the 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 anti, yeah. He's Antichrist. Why he is an, not anti Allah? Because he's going to claim to be Isa alayhi salam when he first comes. And why he will claim to be uh, the Messiah? What that will do to him? 
uh, because the Muslims and the Christians are both waiting on the return of Isa alayhi salam. So okay. I don't know personally his agenda, right. personally, personally, but it would make sense that you are off, 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 off the beginning. That's how you gain the most followers. Okay. Isn't it true that Allah, he looked like the false Messiah? Very, very wrong. I've never heard that in my life. Okay. What if I show you the reference right now? Anyways, brother, you can show me, hmm. and I like I said before, I can only answer the stuff I know. If you're bringing, if you're bringing up uh, old stuff, there's I'm I'm 19. I've I've I don't I don't know too. I haven't got I haven't done my studies yet, you but see, I'll, I'll try so my why, best. So why why your question. dad why your dad he hang up? Why he don't talk to me? He is the old older man. You can because sit next to him. My dad under my because he and I and I understand as well, man. Because the, I I've. I he's seen people like you, mm. and like it's 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 a thing where you ask one question, and as soon as as soon as you get it done, it's it's okay. Then the next one, you know what I mean? And it's just the next friend, one, the next one, having, a series are, of we are until having, you catch them. We are having a nice conversation. People hear you. Muslims hear you. Christian hear you. Atheists hear you. As they hear me, we have equal time to talk. You can talk. I talk. So what he is fearing? Now, can you ask him why the prophet he says Allah is not one eyed? And he compare him to a Dajjal. If Allah is not a man, can you? Can he help you next to you? Is that is that hadith or is that Quran? This is a hadith which is Sahih. This is a Sahih. This hadith. is the thing, man. Because I can't. I can't. The, I will give you the my link. My dad will know more about. My dad will know more questions about. Great. The hadith, That's wonderful. If, if I can ask you to bring me any questions, bring me questions from Quran because I'm I'm a bit more educated in the Quran than no I. No problem. But your dad is there. Can you please ask him for me? How in the I don't, world? I don't. He, how, he doesn't want to answer. He doesn't want to talk to anyone. Okay, no, don't talk to me. Can he tell you? So you can tell me. How in the world, Allah? He looked like a man, like a Dajjal. The only difference between them is one eye. Is Allah is a man? He he told me not to go back on the phone with you, so I can't answer many. I can't ask him more questions. You are not obeying your your dad now. Allah Allah will punish you. No, no, don't say that. <laughs> So, okay, you see, I will go with you. Forget about my question. You see, let us say I am a Christian and I'm 19 years old like you. I'm not 19, by the way, I'm 17. So, and you met me okay. and, you, and you want to tell me about Islam. Huh? Okay, what do you want to tell me about yeah. Muhammad? How you, how you make Muhammad you know, a, a good person for me? Go ahead. Uh, you want to tell you the good things that he's done? Like, yeah, like what? Is that, is that the question? Yeah, like uh, what? When he lived... When when you when the when the religion first came down and he lived in Mecca, um, yeah, uh, he was ridiculed. He was, he was people. He was, they beat him up. Mm. They they called him dirty names. Mm. As the years went on, as the Hijrah went, they got stronger. And on the return to Mecca, mm. um, all the Sahaba were saying, "Oh, let's let's get back at them. Let's uh, mm. what say? Let's, let's get our revenge. Like you're, our revenge." You're not focusing on my question. You're not focusing on my question. How you will convince me? Yeah, no, no, I'm asking you how how you can make Muhammad a good person for me. Okay, he went, they beat him up, etc. What does this mean? I mean, people beat up each other every day. So Muhammad, he became a prophet. How? How he became a prophet? I was just answering the good stuff. You just asked me that. I tell you about good stuff about him. I was going to tell. Okay, him. but I mean, a good stuff because a good stuff, a, a prophet, he should be a good man, right? Okay, what make him good man? Okay, Muhammad. When Muhammad first time, he was pure hearted. He was pure hearted even before he got the risala. He he was a pure hearted. Okay, what do you think about if your dad? I'm not trying to insult your dad. Don't take me wrong. You are married, and your dad come to your house, and then your dad he flirt with your wife. What do you think about that? Can I get some 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 context or some some proof? Sure, but I don't, tell, I don't but, know what you're talking but about. Tell me first if if you agree with that. If that person he do such a thing, he is a good man. With my respect, to your father. I'm not saying your it father. It, would it, do that. it 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 honestly depends on what you define as what, what you define as flirting. I guess. Well, is, is it like that? Change from different person to person. Either this is bad or or or, or good. Yeah, because there's different. There's different. There's different cultures and different things are said. For in, example, kissing on the cheek could be could no, be seen as no, flirting. No, 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 no. I'm saying and, and, I'm saying and, and, and flirting. Flirting with your wife. Flirting is clear. He's like her. He want to have her. So we are not. I'm talking about kissing in the cheek. Okay. Uh, okay. So, so can you tell me what he said? So I'm asking you, when a man he see a woman and she is married. And she is married to his son. 
Okay. And he flirt with her. Is he a good man? Yeah. If 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 the if if you're talking about flirting in the way I'm I I, I think flirting is no, but I I, I doubt there's this is a trick question somehow, and you're you're gonna try to reveal it after. So mm -hmm. so I mean what, what, so what so how, how did he flirt? Why he didn't why have any sons, why, so why you are afraid to say what you believe? If a man he come to your house, let's because say you're trying to catch let us say bro, I know what you, I see what uh, no I'm not do. catching something I catch it already. Yeah. You, know? you are you are afraid you are afraid to answer. I mean that no, if you are a Muslim if you are a Muslim and Islam teach you to be decent then you should say right away this is wrong. This is wrong. Okay, sure, bro. Okay, sure, so, sure, sure, sure. So, Keep going. It's wrong. So sure. we agree, me and you, that if I am a, yeah. your friend or even I am your father, which make it more horrible, I shall not yeah. go to your house and flirt with your wife because she is pretty. Do we agree on that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if we show you that Muhammad he did such a thing, he went to the wife of his son. And he flirted with the wife of his son. Are you saying the Prophet ﷺ had sons? He have a son from adoption. Muhammad cannot have sons. He is is a point a, 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 a potent man. He cannot have kids. He did have kids. No, he don't. That's why he's adopt. If you have kids, there's no need to adopt. People who adopt because they have no kids. This is the so he didn't have any girls. He don't have anything. He don't have kids. He don't have daughters. Those are daughters of Khadija from previous husband. Khadija, she have two husbands before him. All right. Now, if we go to book Al Qurtubi, and I will put it for you in the screen, and this is volume number fourteen, page number one ninety. It says here, and you speak Arabic, and your father speak Arabic. He can sit next to you, and he can laugh. At a man you claim and he claim that he is the most wonderful person in the history he come to his son when the husband is not there i mean why you come there when the husband is not there so he's it says here that the prophet atta zaydan yawman yatlubuhu so he came to zaid one day seeking him and he found zainab and she was white and she was big and beautiful from the most beautiful women of Quraysh, Fahawiha. Tell me what Hawiha mean. Do you know? I don't. He loved her. He loved her in a in a lost way. Hawa, Hawa is air, like air. So he fell into her air. He, you know, his his lost, not love. This is a lost. What kind of a prophet? He go to his own son. He see the wife there, and right away she's standing, and it's in the in the in the same page. Later we will see that she was wearing sexy clothes and the wind you so you're talking about Zainab Zainab yes Zainab yes so is Zainab who's so who's the son the son is Zaid and who's Zainab his wife so Zaid's wife yes and Zaid is the adopted son of your prophet so when your prophet he found her, he saw and her. And so Zainab Zainab isn't the daughter of the Prophet Sallallahu No, this is this is Zainab bin Tujasht, the daughter of the donkey. This is a different one. This, oh, so this isn't Zainab. This is not Zainab bin Tujasht. No, okay. Muhammad, Muhammad don't have children, my friend. Okay, I'm just I just told you. Anyway, this is why he adopted. So listen carefully. So you go to your son, you adopt him or not? Let us say he's a friend. I mean, what kind of a person? He go to his a friend house. Imagine you have a friend or you have a cousin. He come to your house and he flirt with your wife and it says, and he fell into her. He want to have sex with her. Fahawiha. What kind of a prophet he is? So is it, what, what kind of hadith is this? Can I see it? This is Tafsir al-Qurtubi, volume number 14, page number 190. And we can use Google Translation, you know, uh, in case. I wish your dad can join us. Too bad, you know. What about what about yeah, your, you? See, you see here when when you Muslims you say to us, Muhammad was a wonderful man. Obviously, they lie to you. I believe that you are a good person. This is the thing, bro. I you you you're coming at me, and I honestly I wanna I wanna leave right now because I already told you I don't I don't have the knowledge on the hadith, and you're trying to you're trying to capture me in the hadith.
Mm. I asked you if you could if you have anything on the Quran that I could that could possibly. Sure, the whole Quran so, is wrong. The Quran. I, you see, I was going to ask your your dad about the Quran. I wanted to ask him. Okay, according to the Quran, if Allah is our God and Muhammad is a prophet, so what kind of God do not remember which one he created first, the trees or the stars? <laughs> I mean, have you ever heard of somebody he, he built he built the world? Hello? Give me one moment, my bad, huh? No problem. Give me one second. I'm sorry, just give me uh just give me like twenty more seconds, eh? No problem, no problem. <clears throat> Say that again? Yeah. So you know, I was going to ask your father if Allah is God and Muhammad is a prophet, and he told him how he created the world. Is it logical that Allah don't remember what he created first, the trees or the stars? In one chapter he says something, in the other chapter he says the opposite. There you go. Anyway. I was going to continue with the comment, but maybe we will continue again later because it is getting late. And uh, I said to myself, I want to make short video and it's already two hours almost. I mean, this is short video supposedly, unbelievable. I'm sure you guys will hate me, don't you? Right? But here you notice something very important that those who speak Arabic, they fear us most like his father. He's in the corner. He speak Arabic. He cannot play the game. I do not know. I have no idea. I don't speak Arabic. I don't know what are you reading. He cannot. He right away told me you have an agenda. Well, for sure I have an agenda. So what? That's well, so why I'm here. I'm here to teach. I'm not here to have fun. My agenda is the following. Is Muhammad a prophet or not? What's wrong with that? And because you could not prove that he is a prophet, you hang up and you run away. The son is better than the father. The son is more brave. The father, he acted like a kid. We did not insult him. We did not say a bad word to him. We speak to him nicely. We call him Mr. Nothing. I mean, there's no reason. So always you notice that the Muslims, they want to take you into a conclusion, but they cannot explain the conclusion. Have you ever heard of such a thing? You want to give me a conclusion without a proof of it? He's a prophet, that's it. Don't ask questions. Like why is a what, what make him a prophet? Because he's a prophet. But what, what make him prophet? I mean, a simple, even even the definition of a prophet, he don't want to tell us what a prophet. Muhammad, he don't prophesy for the future. So what? He, why you call him prophet? Oh, in Arabic, is different from English. What does that mean? I mean, what, what does that mean exactly? When you speak to a Muslim about Islam, it's like, you know, uh, it's like gambling. Show me your cards. Where's your card? Hello? 
Yes, my friend. Hello, hey, I'm back. Okay. Yeah. So, what do you think about Muhammad? He saw the women, and then after he saw her, uh, do you know that in this in that in that story, Allah He made a miracle for Muhammad about it? I don't know if you know yeah, that. He made a what? He made a miracle. A miracle for him. What was the miracle? Well, when after Muhammad he liked this woman, each time her husband he tried to sleep with her. Excuse my language. I'm just reading what is what is in the book. Allah he made the penis of the husband. Do that again. Allah he made the penis of the husband swell. What do you think about this miracle? Did he? Uh, oh, he do that. Huh? He made the penis of the husband swell. When, yes. When? Can you say that again? Yeah. Well, Muhammad he came to the house of Zaid. He saw his wife. She is sexy, and you know it. Then he flirt with her, and he like her, and it says fahawiha, which means he fell into her. He want to have sex with her, and since then, each time the husband Zainab she said, he tried to have sex with her. Allah, he made his penis swell. What do you think? Only with Muhammad, those miracles happen. Only with Muhammad. Any other Muslim would like to call us? Islam is just a game. And the funny thing about Islam, they don't even, Muslims don't have cards. They don't have cards. They have fabricated stories, fabrication. Muhammad is the most amazing. Muhammad is the most wonderful. But the second you start asking questions, you will find that Muhammad is none of what they say. Watching cartoon is better than, you know, listening to Muhammad's story. I mean, the guy, he liked the wife, and then Allah, he made the penis as well. What is that? And why Allah, he will make the penis as well of the husband? That said, Allah, he reserved her to the man. Where is the decent man? Where is the good man? Muhammad was the most decent man. Muhammad, uh, where, where, how? And then Muhammad, he made verses claiming that Allah told him to have her as a wife. See how he used God? God in Islam is just a, you know, a vendor. You know, he's a vendor for the for the desire of Muhammad. This is why Aisha, she said, Inni ara rabbuka ila hawaka ya Muhammad. I, I see your God. Uh, he rushed into your desire, Muhammad. <laughs> why, why Muhammad? Why Aisha, she said that? Why God, he rushed into the sexual desire of Muhammad? What is the connection between God and Muhammad private part happiness? I felt jealous of the women who offer themselves to Allah Messenger. Okay, Aisha, she felt jealous. Why women anyway offer themselves? Because Muhammad, he made verses in the Quran, says any woman she can offer herself. <laughs> I mean, the guy have tons of wives already. Why he need more? What does this have to do with God? What will happen to Muhammad if no women offer themselves? Is Islam missing something? Is Allah missing something? What is the connection? Why God, he need to make verses, says any woman she can give herself to Muhammad so he can do boom boom. So Aisha, she said, I feel jealous of women who offer themselves. Look how many. 
to Allah Messenger and said, then when Allah, the exalted, the glorious, revealed this, you may differ any of them as you wish. Muhammad, he made the verse first. Any woman she want to offer herself. And then, excuse my language again, I'm just saying things as it is. Some women who don't look good came to Muhammad and offered themselves. Muhammad in trouble because he told them, offer yourself, I will take you. So Muhammad have to make a verse after it saying, Oh Allah, he told me, you may differ any of them as you wish. <laughs> he wanted the young ones, the children, the white. He, you know, he wanted specific women, not all women. Hello? So those women, they start lining up to get a free, uh, a free retirement plan. He is, he is the king. They sleep with him, they free free food, free clothing, free servant, free slaves. So, and Muhammad is not getting what, he made the verse to get a specific kind of women, not all women. So right away, Muhammad, he made a verse, says, Oh, Allah told me you may differ any of them as you wish. And take yourself any you wish. Like what a wishing God. This is the God, we call him the wish-wish God. Wishy-wishy. If we call Zach and Naik, he will say the following. Shall I call him? I don't know, maybe Zach and Naik now is... I think it's morning there for him. Is it morning or it's night time there? I think it's morning, right? <clears throat> I don't know, I need to find his phone number. He keep changing his number. I will tell him in the his grandma house. He seek refugee there. Christian Prince, I didn't call me. Is that gonna hold on? How in the world you know in such an old number have no screen to see it is me? It's only you. There is nobody coming in the number if you because my grandfather is deaf and he cannot hear the phone and nobody call her and you're the only one who call me. Okay, Zakar, cool down. Why Aisha she said that your God Allah Muhammad he rush into your desire. And he made a verse for him, you may differ any of them you wish, and you can take any of yourself, yourself as you wish. Is that a wish, wish God? Mr. Prince, first of all, the Prophet Muhammad, he with Adi with, and he is the within Prophet. And actually, he is the only Prophet who can with. As an example, you go to the birthday, and they say to you, you want to give you a gift, and they love you. So what do you say? Make a wish. Allah, he like Muhammad, and he love you very much. So he told to him, whatever you with. So the prophet, he with women. Uh -huh. So the prophet, he wish women. And because of that, Allah, he granted him his wishes. Exactly. As an example, some people like to have to play games. And some people, they like to go and fly in their plane. And some people, they like to do hunting or swimming. The prophet, he like women. And this is his only wish. So Allah, he grant him his wish. Okay, but why he said to him, you may take any one as you wish, and you differ. What is this differ thing? I will say with you. First, because you are a Christian, you are stupid. You are stupid. One plus one plus one is equal to one. Stupid people. You are stupid Christian. One plus one. one plus, you, know, wrong, you have wrong mathematics. Uh, okay, but what does this have to do with my question? Exactly. So I'm going to explain to you. So if Allah he said to him, Take any woman as you wish, she offer herself. And then there are some women, they are not good looking. And they start coming to you. What do you do with them? You tell them sorry? You cannot do that. So Allah, he make a verse saying, the prophet is not sorry, I am sorry. For I made a verse saying to you, you can offer yourself. I meant a beautiful woman, not you. So here the prophet, he looked like clean. So nobody complained from him because it's Allah who said that to him. Oh, you know what? I never thought about it this way. Because if the prophet, he said to them, I don't like you because you look bad. 
the women they will be sad, right? Exactly. Christian Prince, Subhanallah, you are getting better. After starting talking to me, okay, Zach and Nick, for sure, I'm learning from you. But don't you think Allah now is offending the women who don't look good anyway? Because he said to them, tell them he, he allow me to differ any of you, which means at the end of the day, it's Muhammad. You choose who he would like to sleep with her and who he don't like to sleep with her. Exactly. But in the scenario, he get a license from Allah. It was not it up to him. But it says here as you wish. So it is up to him. Exactly. It is as he with, but as the with of Allah at the same time. So Allah and the Prophet, they with the same. Uh, Zach and Naik, I have to admit. You are the best wish wish scholar. Thank you for answering my phone call. First of all, it's not me who's talking to you. It was the brain speaking with me. Uh -huh. You became a prophet, Zach and I. I didn't say that. But I received inspiration. And I was able to get you busted. Especially when I said to you, one plus one plus one is equal to one. Stupid Christian. Uh, oh, okay. Well, well I don't know what to say to you about the one plus one plus one because we don't have this in our belief. Do you? Christian Prince, don't you Christian believe in the Trinity? Uh, yeah, the Trinity is one God. <laughs> exactly. So how three person is one God? <laughs> Crazy. But isn't it God is the one who can do anything? He can be anything? Are you going to tell God what he can be? First of all, I'm not going to tell God what to be. But we have logic. Ah, you have logic. So it's logical that Allah have two hands in the right side. What is that logic? What do you think? Why Allah he played tennis, right, right side tennis only? Why he have two hands in the right side? Allah knows best. Why Allah have a shin? Allah knows best. Why Allah have a mouth? Allah knows best. Why Allah he changed his shape? Allah knows best. So how come in the case of your Allah, you don't complain, but in the case of my God, you want him as you wish. Christian Prince, are we going back again to the word with? I'm so disappointed. We start with with and we end with with. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, bye bye. Hang up. Wish, wish. One wish. We will take one last time call. Jamal is asking me to call him. Yes, Jamal. Do you like? Do you have to say something to say? Um, but I'll tell you what, man. That 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 stunt you you pulled right now is very disrespectful because me and you both know that's not Zach and Nike. Oh, okay. This is not Zach and Nike. That was you making an impersonation of him. I've seen enough Zach and videos to know that was complete BS, man. I'm so and you're, you're doing this scheme right now where you're just trying to get the uh, like. Come so, on, bro. So you get me busted now. You're completely busted, man. I'm so disappointed. I thought you you think I am. This is Zach and Nick. But can we keep it between me and you that this is Zach and Nick? Don't tell anyone because people believe it, man. What do you think? I mean, people joke. believe it. Oh. Oh. Was it a joke then? I was joking. Come on. Okay, good. Okay, yeah. Okay. You're like, hello. So as, as long as your dad is next to you, why you don't talk to me? Say hello to him from me. He's a nice guy. It's not our, our dad's not home right now. Sorry, this is his brother, but um, uh, is your brother? our dad's not home right now. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sorry. I, I just overheard the conversation and uh, I felt like I had to I had to butt in. Ah, but be honest with me. With me. Doesn't sound like Zakanaik himself. I'm good, right? I mean, it's not a bad impersonation. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like you, mm. you kind of killed the the lisp and the accent. It's not bad. Mm. Do you remember Zach and Nick when he said they asked him about why only men they will have whore, you know? Oh, actually, hold hold on. They asked him why there's only a men prophet in Islam. Do you know what he said in that video? No, I I, I never watched that video. Listen to this. Listen to this. Don't hang up. He said, "The tips are asking question. Why in Islam there is only men they are prophet? The answer is very simple and very logical." There is only men in Islam to be prophet because if a woman to become a prophet, they have to do to do they would do, and they have to bend over. And if they bend over, that would disturb the congregation. And if they disturb the congregation, brother, can you, focus. bro? Hmm. Sorry to interrupt. 
Uh-huh. Can you send me the video? Where where are you? Where are you? Uh, I don't know, because the voice sounds a lot deeper. Maybe it's on the phone. I'm not sure what it is. But... <laughs> you can search it. S- search for this title. Why um, a wo- uh, there's why there's no women prophet in Islam. Zakir Naik. You will find the video. You will die laughing. Okay. So he said, the reason there's no women, she is a prophet in Islam because she bent over and then people, they will see her ass. I mean, what kind of a scholar a scholar is? Is that an answer of a man? So are you are you is that are you talking about why they can't be prophets or why yes. because that, why, no, why? I'll tell you what yes. that specifically has to do why they can be an imam or not no no that, why that why she prophet. cannot be no no, no 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 my friend the question that was that is why well, that's why women can lead prayers brother not not because not prophet no this is they not can't the, lead a prayer because friend, they can't my, be in the front row bending in my front friend, of a bending. it's not up to you it's not up to me this is was the question and this is was the answer. And let me let me search for the video. Why there okay. is there is no women prophet in Islam? Zakir Naik. Let us see. Oh, uh, here we go. We found the video. Are you are you, are you gonna play it? Uh, uh, let us see if I can play it because you know sometimes uh, there is copyright over videos. You know you know. You know how it is. Let us see. Let us okay. skip the commercial. And then we go to... Why are there no women prophets in Islam? <clears throat> if by prophets you mean that a person who receives the message and who acts like a leader to the people, then I can say for sure that in Islam we have got no women prophets. And I think it's right, because if a woman has to be a prophet, the Quran clearly states that man is the leader of the family. So if the man is the leader in the family, how can he lead the whole people? How can a woman lead the whole people? Come to the second part. A prophet has to even lead the congregation players. And as I said earlier, that there are certain postures like I am Ruku Sujood, standing, bowing, and doing the Sujood prostration, which if a woman prophet does, the congregation behind will get disturbed. <laughs> Did you hear it? So if she's a prophet and she's bowing down, then all the Muslim will look at her ass. Did you hear it? Okay, um, Q, I couldn't hear it, but I went through. Hmm. The exact same video number one i don't want to get into technicalities because that's really not the point mm. of what we're talking about here yeah but the acoustics are completely different but regardless i went through the video mm. and what zakir naik is essentially talking about mm. is that there are different socioeconomic and gender roles mm. um that women have contrary to men mm. and like what? you know given that time like what like um, what like 1500 what? years like, like what sorry isn't it muhammad was working um, for example isn't, isn't it muhammad was working for khadija Sorry? Wasn't Muhammad working for Khadija? Working for her. That, that's pre-Islam. Okay, so pre-Islam women, she was strong. She is a leader. She gave order to Muhammad. After Islam... One, you're giving me the example of one woman. If no, you were no, to no, give no, me no, no, the no, average woman... No, 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 not the average, no, not the average woman. Women in Arabia, they were really powerful and they are strong. And even they have a queens. And if you go, you search not only the Arab, even the Aramaic, even the Egyptian, they have a queens who rule. So any woman, she have money, she have etc. She became a leader. Very simple. There's a woman. And yet the leader of the Quraysh were all men. No, there's a woman. Her name is on Muqurfa. Go and check your prophet. He killed her in his okay. time. She's so how over. many... How many men relative to women would you my say? Friend, my friend, my friend, we understand, we understand. It's a society of men. But uh, but the answer is stupid. I mean, so the women, she cannot be a prophet because of her ass. That, that, see, that this is the thing. You're bringing up a general point and you're, uh, sorry, not a general point, a specific point. And you're overlooking the whole... I am not the one who brought it. I am not it. the one who brought it up. It is your Zachar Naik. I'm just saying to you what Where, you say. in the video? He just said that, you know, uh, in the video. go to the that, minute. And, and, and here's the thing. You're, you're taking that completely out of context. What, what? He's referring. No, he said, to, okay, when the woman. Let me play the video again. Watch, watch, the, watch the stream. He said clearly that the women, she have to lead the congregation and she have to do certain things like sujood. And she should do that 
that would disturb the contradiction. What? Well, because what? What is going to disturb the people behind if a woman she is doing sujood, bowing down? You tell me. What will disturb them? Um. So. So. Uh. Is that, was that the, <coughs> the only point he made on on that problem, or was there other points? He made two points. He says the or man is the. the, the he, he made the two points. He made. He made two point. He made. Down? He made two point. But both of them are funny. Both, okay, both, of them, both of them, both of them, both of them, my friend, both of them point. are funny. Let me tell you why. Because okay, tell if, me, no, tell me what they were first of all. Okay, he said that the, the the Quran says that the man is the leader of the women. He said that. Do you agree with that? Okay. Is, is the what? Is the leader of the women? Yes. Okay, so just okay. say both points. Okay. All right, and then he says, and the other second part, he mentioned the word second. The second part, that the women, if she have to do certain you know, uh, a kind of movement like sujood, etc., and wudu. So if she do that, that, that would You're disturb. skipping the whole first two minutes of the video, bro. There's there's several points in the first two minutes of the video that you've completely skipped over. Finished. I did not skip anything. I, I, how about how about how about, play, how about I, the I, fact that women? I have, played. Have, have I played. I I played from. I played from, from the beginning of the that. video. Here we go. The video, my friend. Assistance. The video in front of me. I played it from the, from point zero to point one o three, and then I stopped. People, they can see the line. Can you? Can you? Is it on YouTube? Yes or no? Yes, in YouTube. Just it's search. One, just search for the, this title. Why are there no women prophet in Islam? No. In Islam. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, do you agree with him? Okay. Can, can we? Play? Here, we'll play it out right now. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so that's your first point, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, you played till a minute, you played till three minutes, but you skipped point at, 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 at one minute? Yeah, I stopped Let's at one three, point, because okay? he finished, because he finished. The rest is just... Hold on. Yeah. The rest is... Okay. Mm -hmm. Stop skipping. No, because we had it, I missed it. Okay, mm. so there's one biological factor mm. that you, for some reason, you just didn't want to bring up just for convenience sake. What What is the biological yes. factor? What is that? What is uh, it? that? A woman. Number. Here, play it back. Can yeah. You, can you hear it? Yeah, he, he said if she do, would uh, was a Jude and would do. Okay, number one, if a woman gets pregnant, mm. she will not be able to do her duties as a prophet, i.e. go out and preach and, and deliver the message. Okay? What? Oh, hold on. Was Muhammad a Was Muhammad a Bretnet? Was Muhammad a Bretnet? Was Muhammad a what? Bretnet? What does that mean? You, were you saying if a woman, she is a Bretnet, she cannot do her duty. What's her duty? To deliver the message? Yes. She cannot talk? Okay, you try telling a pregnant woman to go out in every single day and, and, and do the duties of a prophet. And don't forget, a prophet's duties what, what is the duty are, are, of the prophet? are completely you're a prophet, to the people. Your prophet was spending his day having sex with the women. So stay, he's still in the, in the, with the women, in between the women. Is that right? Okay, here we go. Let well, us, uh, let us see. Let you us have see. your narrations, I have mine. Okay, According no, to my narration, no, 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 the prophet go. Muhammad uh, was uh, spending his nights in prayer and spending his day let us going see. from door to door trying to figure out if the people were hungry and if the people had problems. Let us see if this is true. This is the hate in front of me. It says that the prophet, he spent his day having sex with his wife and he don't even wash. Is that correct? He don't even what? He don't even wash. He wash at the end. He go and he have sex with all his wives in one day. Yes or no? Is that a duty of a prophet? A prophet who have no time except to Allah. Why he have too many women? Read with me hadith. This is Al-Bukhari. It says here. He hang up.
You guys, if you have a black screen, just refresh your page. Refresh your page. If you have a black screen. The duty of a prophet. Well, what is the duty of a prophet? To have sex. All right, Jamal, do you hear me? Yeah. Okay, I want you, you and your brother with you to read with me the hadith in front of me. It says, the prophet used to visit all his wives in a round. Can you, sorry, before you start, I hate to interrupt, but could, could you just give us the hadith? Yes, I'm giving you the hadith. You want me to give it to you in the, as a link? The you hadith mean? number. Oh, the hadith number is Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 268. Two? Six, two, eight. Six, eight. Yes. Okay. All the, right, sorry, you can read it. Go ahead. All right. The Prophet used to visit all his wives in a round during the day and night, and they were 11 in number. I asked Anas, had the Prophet of Allah strength for it? Anas replied, we used to say, the Prophet, he is given the string of 30 men. All right. So what do you think? What's the point? You're t I'm sorry. What was the point okay. you're trying to make? You, you, you were talking about the duty of a Prophet. The duty of a Prophet is go to sleep around every night, every day with all his wives. Who is it true that a man, he can sleep with all the women? All his wives? 11 wives. I, um, I, I never defined the duties of a Prophet. I just... You okay. gave me um, your example of, of what the prophet was. was no, you said you said the you women the women she have to do the duty she have to do the duty, you know, of a prophet. Okay, what is the duty of prophet? What Muhammad was doing? Muhammad was having sex. The, I told you it's deliver the message. Okay, Muhammad was delivering the message when he was going to eleven wives in one day, one night, and he was doing boom boom. See, this is this is the. Um, the beauty of Islam. You have to understand that the Prophet uh -huh. is a human being at the end of the day. Is that a human? And, and here's, is that, here's is, that a behavior, is that a behavior of a human being to sleep with 11 women in one day? To sleep with 11 women? Where does it say in the hadith that he slept with 11 women? It says in the front of you. I give you a hadith. What's wrong with you? He used to visit all his wives in a round no, no, during no, the no, day no, and no, night no, no, and there no, were no. 11. No, 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 my friend. That's exactly okay. what the hadith says. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you in a clear hadith. Hold on. Give me, give me a second. No, 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 no. We were talking about this hadith. Ah, you this was your point. Okay, if no, I hadn't no, no. caught that, you would have no, said no, that. No, 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 no. We will show you because this is same hadith. Because same hadith have many report, and all of them they are sahih. So the prophet okay, he used. Okay, but this, the, the only one in Bukhari is the one that we 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 we, we broke down and we found out that it's not true. So okay, okay. If the, if the if if the highest narration of Bukhari is the one that doesn't say that, why are we gonna go to other ones? Okay, let us see. This is the Bukhari. I will give you Bukhari. What's wrong with you? Don't you want Bukhari? We won't give you Bukhari. Okay, Bukhari. <laughs> Take it easy, my friend. <laughs> no, no, no. It's all, it's all good. It's, it's good. It's good. Um, okay. It's discourse at the end of the day. Yeah. All right. Let us see this hadith. Let me put it for you in the screen. But I know this is the problem that I have. This is, again, Jamal told me um, uh, what was going on with her dad. And hmm. so you bring up a point when it's conveniently something that either we don't have the knowledge of because we're young or whatever, or hmm. we get or we, we get you on it. Hmm. It's, it's just conveniently moved to the next point. No, you do not get me. Here we go. Here we go. And I said that the prophet used to I want the same hadith. Have... I don't want another hadith. No, this is the same hadith. This, 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 this is the same. Why was this one allowed 30 this seconds is the ago, same, but not allowed now? This is the same hadith, my friend. The same hadith. The Number same, the same, the same, the same reporter. The same hadith, the same reporter, you're a prophet used to, even it's mentioned here additional, that he used to do only one time wash. He washed only once. He washed only okay, once. Okay, where's the hadith? It's in the front of you. Here we go. Read it. We're not on the, the messenger, right now. Sorry, the, messenger of Allah, the messenger of Allah used to have sexual intercourse with his wives with single bath. Another hadith. Here we go. The prophet used to have intercourse with his wives one after another with a single bath agreed upon. What's the height? Where can I find this hadith? It's in the front of you on the screen. <laughs> can you no, well, Can you send okay. it? Okay. Well, um, uh, unfortunately, okay. yeah. The unfortunately. only accredited source that that I refer to is uh, Sunnah.com. Yeah. And Sunnah. Sorry. Uh, this is this is this is Sunnah.com. I'm showing you sooner. So what's the number so, so we can search it up, brother? Go, so we, go, I don't know what's on the screen. Here we go. The link in the front of you. Go ahead. 
the link in front of you. Oh, I think he's talking about the top. No, the link in the front of you. And oh, he, is it and, having sexual intercourse and repeating it and engaging with one with, with, with one, one, one wife? With one bath, one bath. bath he so? speak with his he sleep with his wife one after one, without washing. He wash at the end after so, he finish all of them. And this is it says there. Okay, so yeah, it says okay, Sahih okay, Bukhari. So, read with me in the say, read with me in the say, side. Hi, let's say, read with me in the side. Rawahu al Bukhari two six eight. 284-5068-5215 and then and warawahu muslim hadith number 309 so what we will say now your prophet was so busy having sex with all his wives one after one and you were talking to me about the duty of the prophet is that normal that a man he sleep with 11 women without even washing Can you even believe it that Muhammad was sleeping with women after women after women? Are you there? I know what happened. I don't hear you, my friend. Are you talking? Let us call him again. All right, so you see, this is the same Al Bukhari, the same as Muslim. Okay. All this is authentic. So let me ask you now Is it really normal? Is Muhammad a beast? I mean, don't you clean yourself after you finish sex with one woman? Did Muhammad heard about sexual diseases, sleeping with women after woman after woman after woman? Without washing? Uh, uh, sexual, okay. No, hold on, because this, this, is, this, is, this is kind of an issue here because mm. if we're talking about one single problem, Mm. Um, we were talking about you wanted to bring up normally i would think if you were trying to convince me that let's say islam is a false religion or it's a cult or this or that you would bring up points that are fundamentally wrong okay with the, with the general about, aspects of the religion i, I, just, rather I, than just, go, showed oh, you, I just showed you fundamentally muhammad go to his own son wife and he flirt with her and then he take her he sleep with her isn't it this is wrong no but this is the thing this is the thing if you showed me reasons for example why yeah, no, that's um, the, when you when this is the thing you're bringing up hadith. I told you, brother. Bring up stuff in the Quran. You brought up the Fir'aun prophet. The Fir'aun thing. Here we go. Here we go. My friend. My, okay, my friend. This is in the Quran. The story of Zaid and Zainab is in the Quran. Even, is it now? Yeah. Where is it in the Quran? Even even Muhammad. Muhammad he made a verse. He fabricated the verse, saying that Allah told me. Yeah. Why you are telling? Both so, yeah. Let's. Yeah. If we're gonna if we're gonna talk if we're gonna if we're gonna be if we're gonna talk, let's just. Let's keep it. You you know our beliefs. So just say it. no. The, we just the, use the common terms of Quran. Okay, the Quran in front of you, and I show you Tafsir Al Qurtubi. You're a scholar, and you are a Muslim Sunni. You cannot deny it. So this is Al Quran, chapter okay. thirty three, verse number thirty seven. So Allah said to Muhammad, "Why you are saying to the man, don't divorce your wife when you inside you you love her? What kind of God he said to a married to a man? He is the father of a son." Why you are hiding what is in your heart, telling the man don't divorce her when you want her? The verse in the front of you. What's, what's the verse again? Chat. 33, 37, right? 33, 37. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Is that a God act? He tell you why you are hiding? So the Quran accusing Muhammad to be a hypocrite, liar. He tell the man, don't divorce your wife. When Muhammad, he just, he was there flirting with her 10 minutes ago. You give us a second. We're looking at the verse right now. Mm. <laughs> now, can you tell me in the hadith? Or in the ayah? Mm. Or sorry, in the, sorry, in the ayah, mm. it speaks about... Um, what was the point that he made? Do um, about how he said, what was it you that he had feeling either her, my, my yeah, friend, right? my friend. that he flirted with both him. of you both of you you speak Arabic let, let us let us you know uh, as adult read what your scholars well for the sake of the chat let, let's, what what your let, let, let's, what let's, your let's, scholars you, what your scholars said can we do that can we do that what your scholars said what your hadith says so here it says and I will show you in the screen and I can copy the text and give it to you and I can give you the link or I can give you whatever you want 
It says that the Prophet of Allah, he visited his son when the husband was not there and he fell into the women. He wanted her. So he flirted with her and he said to her, Praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart flip for you. Let me see if I can send you the text. Here we go. You got the text. Can you read it? Hello? I gave you a text. Can you read Hello? it? Hello? Yeah, I gave you a text in Palto. Can you read it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, if you... There's a Sahih international trans, uh, translation that we have right in front of us. My friend, this is not, this is the tafsir. Time. This is the tafsir. Your father, your father, he speak Arabic too. Your mother, she speak Arabic. So I cannot lie to you, my friend. And I'm giving you the link. I'm giving you the website. I'm giving you the, the page number. This is Al Qurtubi, page number one ninety. All right. Explanation for this verse, chapter thirty three, verse number thirty seven. This is tafsir Al Qurtubi, volume number fourteen, page number one ninety. So it says here, and you said to me, you speak Arabic. It says that he, he went to see his son, Zaid, and he found Zainab standing. She was white and big and beautiful from the most beautiful women of Quraysh. Fahawiha. So he fell into her, his lost. And then he said, Subhanallah, praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart flip for you. The man is a, is a flirting with the women in her house, and she is married. What do you, what do you say? I'll tell you what, bro. Hmm. We have the... Tra I don't know what translation you're getting. The translation we have right now says not, doesn't say that. My friend, what translation? You can I'm... read the translation we have. Okay, do you, you have... already have... The thing is, do you... you have these these points already set. You have the right material for this. Okay. We search it up on one second on Google, and the translation here is completely different from the one you have. What you what you search? You search Al Qurtubi? I search I I searched up the translation to that ayah. So the no, the, the no, first uh, one that's gonna who, pop who up said, is who definitely said, gonna be the Who said I am talking about the translation of the ayah now? I am talking about the book of Al Qurtubi. Listen carefully, my friend. This is here we go. I will give you the official government website. Of I the told kingdom. you, but what did we that's, say, that's, bro? What, that's, that's, I want direct evidence. I don't want somebody else's opinion. This is not opinion. This is your prophet story, according to your prophet, according to Aisha, according to Zainab. Zainab is talking. Also, this is the, the Quran. Quran. This isn't the Quran anymore. We stopped doing the Quran. We told you, bro. Okay. We can't. You how have we understand the Quran? How, the we and, how we understand the Quran? Is it okay to go to the tafsir or not? Okay. You Muslim Sunni. When you understand the Quran, do you go to the yeah. Do you, do you go to the tafsir? Yes or no? No, the tafsir for it. Okay. Okay. Sure. So I'm showing you tafsir. So what's wrong with that? I'm not giving you my story. This is your tafsir saying that Muhammad, he went to the wife and he is flirting with her. He want to sleep with her. <laughs> so why you are... Why, why you okay, are but, nah, but this is the issue. This is the issue. You're talking about Quran, ayah. Mm. Then now all of a sudden it's tafsir. You're contradicting yourself. No, my friend. Now, okay. if you gave me, I just, me, I just hold on, asked you. you a, I just no, asked you how we explain the verse. To you you told me. You told me you have no knowledge. So what we will do? We have to go to the tafsir. Do we agree? Do you agree or not? Somebody's interpretation of it. Yes, we have to go to the scholars, <laughs> right? So here it says. This is hadith mentioned in At-Tirmidhi, and this is hadith mentioned in Muslim, and this hadith is mentioned, okay. etc. And this is hadith mentioned in Bukhari, and this is hadith mentioned from Anas. And look what it says here, that Zainab, she said, that after the Prophet, he came and he flirted with her, Amsa Zaydun fa'awa ila firashihi, qalat Zainab, lam yastati'a Zayd wa man tana'a minhu ghayra ma mana'a Allahu minni. So Zayd at night, he came to sleep with me, but he could not because Allah, he did not allow him. How? Let us hear carefully. It says, wa fi ba'di riwayat, inna Zayd tawarrama thalika minhu hina arada an yaqrubuha. So Zayd, his penis is swell when he tried to have sex with her. <laughs> Okay, so okay, can I can I can I can I tell you something? Okay, tell me something. Let me let me tell you something. Tell me something. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is probably, mm -hmm. if not the one, if not the most documented man okay. in history. Can but, we can we can we can we come to come to that conclusion? Yes or no? No. There are more things no, about no, him. No. More than, than no. No. Because you just told me you didn't agree with this. 
No, but I'm just I'm just saying. No, you're just saying. No, that, no, no, that, no, you're just saying. No, you're not. No, there, no you are just saying. Not, you're just saying. They are just. You just said to me that all the documentation about Muhammad we don't agree with. Show me the Quran. So what is documentation? If I ask you now in the Quran, who, who is Muhammad? There's no nowhere it says who is Muhammad. Who is Muhammad? What is his last name? Who is who is his father in the there's Quran? A whole, there's a whole chapter. There's, a, there's an entire where, chapter. Where, okay, show me. I challenge you in the Quran to show me where it says who is Muhammad. Go ahead. I want to learn from you. There's, there's, there's different, there's, 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 there
So, so what is that? So he doesn't have what is that? If he doesn't have a dad, what is this point going? No, to? he's no one. There's nobody. His name is Muhammad. Muhammad is a title. It's not a name. You don't even know you are following who. And and you mentioned to me Yasin. Read with me. This is chapter Yasin. Yasin. This is the God saying the Moon God. No, I think this I was is, wrong about that. This, I think I was wrong. Yes, about that. you are wrong. Always you are wrong. You are trust me. Here we go. This is a, this is Tafsir Jalalain. Well, you are a scholar. You are a scholar saying Yasin. Do you know what Yasin? You say this is the name of a prophet. Who told you that? Yeah, seen. Yeah. No, I was wrong. I was yeah. wrong. You were wrong. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, seen. Yeah. It's not the name of the prophet. Rather, they are among the separate letters mm -hmm. uh, that appear at the beginning of some surahs. Okay, what does that mean? Which point to the miraculous nature of the Quran. This is miraculous. Fact that these letters is, are is, part is, of okay, the I'll, I'll, Okay, I will, I will make a miracle now. Yeah, do do. What does that mean? You said to me it's a miracle now. So it says here, yeah, what? sin. Yeah, is a word meaning God. Yeah. Yeah, is a word mean uh -huh. God? Okay. You, it, no, it doesn't mean God. Doesn't mean God. Yes, it's a, it's yes, a, it's a, it's yes, a, yes. Set letters yes, that us it's as a humans word, can understand. It's a word mean God in the old Aramaic, in the old Hebrew, in the old Egyptian language. Yeah, yeah seen. Okay, so tell me what Al Islam means. So, yeah, what is what is okay? So uh, what is? Uh, uh, you know, you are you, asking me. We will laugh together when we are there. So yeah, seen. It says here in inter interpretation, uh -huh. God knows best what He meant by those letters. But we know sin is the moon God. Exactly. Sin is the moon god. So yes, Muhammad, sin is the moon god. Yes, yeah, yeah. Is so what is what is Alif Lam Mim? What is Alif Lam Ra? What is Kaf Ha Ya'in Sad? What are what are those? No problem. Explain that. Okay, we mentioned uh, Kaf Ka Ha Ya'in Sad. This is in the chapter of what? Chapter of Maryam, correct? Exactly. Okay, why it's in chapter of Maryam? Do you know? Couldn't tell you. You tell me. You know more, okay. right? Go. Well, because simply, this is a sentence. If you calculate the mathematic numbers, you will find that word it says a sentence that the Messiah is my God. Chaos. Go and is that right? Yes. The the Messiah is so my, so so based based on what numbers? Based on what numbers? The numbers or the mathematic of the alphabet. The alphabet. The alphabet have mathematical numbers. So each number is equal to a to a letter alphabet. This is not something the Arab did. This is Aramaic. So ka ka ha ya ain sod. If you put them together, you will come with the number which is equal to the number which is mean the Messiah is my Lord. And this is why it is okay. in chapter Maryam, verse number one. Otherwise, I challenge you to tell me what it does mean. If I'm wrong. Okay. Uh, now, now this is the whole problem here. Hmm. Are you an expert in cryptology? I am expert yes no. in what? I'm, I just that's all I need. My my friend, I am I'm like Zach and Nick, expert in everything. <laughs> okay, well that's uh, that's a very bold statement, and I could I could argue that a lot. But regardless, um, I'm assuming you're not an expert in cryptology. Number one and number two, tell me where, mm -hmm. uh, where you where you got the the idea that each letter is directly connected to the alphabet. No problem. You can search in Google. Do you have a prophet Google with you? No, I, I mean, you brought it up. I need the answer okay. from you. Okay, okay. Uh, let us see. Uh, Arabic. And I need, I, need, I need exact proof. No problem. Let us uh, look for them. We will find them in a second. Give me a second. No go. worries. Take your time. Here we go. They are in front of you. Those are the equal numbers. Every Every letter have an equal number okay now what's to say uh for example what does alif equal to let us go there and we will see alif is equal to one because this is number one you know okay what's to say alif doesn't equal My five friend, just to teach you just to teach you how did that work from one to ten is going to be one to ten and then you double the number so number 11 will be you know will be like the double of the last number go and check it out sure go check it out and you i'm looking find, at it right now yeah, yeah. so uh, uh, when we say kahayas, you know, Muslims, they have no answer. They do not know. Why? Because simply Muhammad was stealing from the Christian books. He stole from Uraq ibn Nawfal. He do not know. Okay, that, that's, that's, a whole, that's a whole different point. I, th this, is, this, is, this is the problem that I have. There's no, you don't have any proof that can tell me that that is exactly, that like each letter has that direct association. Well, I, I just showed you. What, what mathematical proof? Search, search the do, number, do my friend. Okay, that? Aleph is equal to one. Lamb is equal to three. Well, I could say Aleph could equals to ten as well. No, it's not up to Why you. It's already in the alphabet. This is not up to you, my it's friend. Up to who? This is uh, already is made as, 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 as thousand of years ago. This is not up to you. Who? By who? By who? By who? By the one who, who created the language, the Aramaic, the Aramaic, the Aramaic, 
this is Aramaic and then transform it into the Arabic. So you can go right now, search, okay. search in Google, you will find those letters. Each one of them is equal to a number. Okay, what, 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 what will I search up? Huh? Oh, uh, what will I search up? Search, Arabic, uh, Arabic letters to numbers? Uh, search, uh, let's see what, the, what, the, what they will call it in English. Let us see what they will call it. Uh, Arabic alphabet, like let us see here. Give me a second. Um, Oh, let us see. Okay, here. Um, I think you need to search for num on, numeric number, numeric numbers. Numeric numbers. Okay. Okay. So okay. you will find um, that A, okay. can, can A, I ask you something? A about, about, is about equal to 1, B this? is equal to 2, G, J is equal to 3, D is equal to 4. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. I see it in five. front of me. Yeah, all right. I, I, so I get that. Those, I get that. Those are the numbers. Then take to take take I ask. We'll take you two second. Take ka ha ain sa etc. And calculate the number, and you will see it says is equal to the following sentences. You know, uh, uh, ha is equal. Okay. okay, ha and ya and ain and sa and kaf. Starting from kaf, the total the total is one ninety five. One ninety five is equal to the sentence is al masihu ilahi. Christ is my God. <laughs> yeah okay so you muslim do not know we know and if you ask you i know I'm, 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 I'm familiar with numerology actually i do know okay. but um here's the thing yeah here's the thing yeah now tell me why okay mm. let's say the mm. prophet the prophet who do, do you think do you believe you believe that the that the prophet falsely or wrote the quran right mm. yeah right uh -huh. so do you think that he, if he wrote the Quran, let, let's assume that for the sake of argument that he wrote the Quran, do you think he would say something like, this is something that only God knows, no. but I'm going to I'm gonna give something that's commonly known so that we can figure it out? No, Muhammad, he stole that, Kahayas, from the book of Waraka bin Ufal. This is why your prophet, when Waraka bin Ufal, he tried to kill himself when, when Waraka died. Is that correct? I'm not aware of this, but regardless, that that's not... No, that not, doesn't not answer regardless. My no, I need to ask you, you to tell me if there's no regardless if Muhammad is a prophet of Allah and Waraka is just a priest. Why, when Waraka he died, the inspiration of the Quran stopped to come to Muhammad? Do you know? Mm, okay. Uh, let me let me ask you something in response to that. Mm. Do you believe? Okay. Do you, do you know that? I'm sure that in the Quran, mm. uh, the Quran and mm. the Bible are both um, from God. Yes. No, the Quran is not from the from God. Uh, we, this is what we are talking. Okay, about. sure. No, I'm saying we, mm. I'm saying let, let's okay for the sake of argument. Mm. Pretend that you believe the same thing that Muslims believe. No, I don't pretend. Would you, if you were Muslim, for example, I would you not. believe? Thank God, I'm not. That I'm the not. Bible and the Quran. I am are, not are the a Muslim, same. my friend. Don't ask me to pretend not to be same, a Muslim. Not the same, but they both come my from friend, God. My friend, let us focus with me. Focus with me. But after a few okay, days, well, I'll tell you, Waraka, I'll tell you, I'll tell you after, from my perspective. But after a few days, Waraka died, and the divine inspiration was also no, 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 no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't let you move on to your next point. If no, you have, a, you have to let me make my point. I'm sorry. This is not our. our I'm trying to be respectful point. here, but if, if you're going to bring up a point, this is not I next. Have this is not. Right to, this is not next point. We are talking about Kahayas. I say to you, Muhammad, he copied from the, the book. Point, but, no, but I have the right from to the respond. Book of, from the book of Waraka. Waraka, he died and he left a book for Muhammad. Muhammad copying from there, but you do not know what this book means. He do not know what Kahiyas means. Waraka is educated, Muhammad is not. So Muhammad, he copied what is in the book. And this is why when Waraka, he died, the Hadith says, and this is Sahih al-Bukhari, the Quran stopped coming to Muhammad. Explain to me why Allah stopped sending Quran to Muhammad when Waraka died. Okay. Okay. Two two points that I want to make. Number mm. one, the first point yeah. is that at least from from our perspective, the Quran mm. and the Bible are both in their original forms. If they are preserved, mm. they are both books of God. So they can share certain commonalities because at the end of the day, the religion mm. is Islam. It's Christianity. Mm. The original religion is the belief and and the oneness of God. Okay, that's the first point that I want to make. So if there are commonalities between the two between the two uh, books. Hmm. That doesn't mean that it was inspired. That just means that they share commonalities. The same way that they both respect Jesus, that doesn't mean that the Quran stole what, that. What does, have to, what does have to do Number with, my, two, with my topic? Um, what does have to do with our topic? Nothing.
I'm asking well, you're you, saying he stole I'm, it. I'm asking you why, okay, why the Quran stopped coming to Muhammad when... No, 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 no. I just told you. I just told you. Hmm. You told me what? You told me about uh, we, we have the same God? Huh? What does have to do with my topic? I'm asking you why the Quran stopped coming to Muhammad. Waraka, I told you that guy, the Quran and the a guy, Bible a guy share, name, uh, share certain similarities. No, we don't share anything. We don't share anything. We don't share anything. Zero. Even Mary is wrong. There, there, there's nothing. Who, who, who's Ma we? Ma okay, Mary, she is the daughter of who? Okay. The daughter of Amran. Brother, brother, listen, listen. Mary is the daughter of Amran, correct? You, I agree with that already. But Amran, See, you're going but, against. But, but, you're, but, no, you're all you're you're jumping from topic to topic. No, you are the one who said to me we share Waraka. many let's, things. Let's you are the one who told me we share many things. We share zero. We share zero. Mary in the Quran, she is the sister of Aaron, the sister of Moses, the daughter of Amran. Amran is the father of Moses. Your prophet do not even know who is Mary, and who is Isa. We never okay. heard of a guy. His name is Isa. Open the Bible. Now, we will not find now, Isa. Who is Isa? So Maryam is the, is the, is the sister of who? The sister of Moses in the Quran. You did, Maryam is the sister of who? The sister of Moses. Be, they all share their 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 it's 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 sisterhood in the religion, brother. No, don't, don't try to no, pull that. No, no, no. That you see that can work if we don't have. Don't the pull name that. Of the don't father. pull that. No, don't pull can, that. Don't no, pull no, sisters. Hold they on, lived in hold two hold different on, time on, periods. Hold, what are you talking about, my friend? Exactly. So, who is the father of Mary in the Quran, Umran? Who is the father of Moses in the, in the, in, the, in Islam, Umran? <laughs> so Muhammad, he cannot fix it no more. The Jews, they came to him. They said, "What are you doing?" No, it's about? not. My friend, okay, here we go. It says, it says, the, fa the father of Musa okay, is Imran. Okay, Where does it say that in the Quran, brother? This is not in the Quran. The Quran doesn't say Imran. Is this, this, is in the, this is in the Sunnah. What you, what, this is in the Sunnah. Imran, I've never heard this that. This is in the Sunnah. Okay, I will search. Okay, I will, I will search right now. Islamic, Islamic answer in front of you. Islam. Hmm. What is the name? You know what it is. You know what it is. You have this whole Sunnah law. Of you, us, you bring up listen, anything uh, in the Quran. Anything in the Quran uh, will get you. A second ago, you said to me, bring we have the, the most documented you prophet. You can't flip anything from the Quran. A second ago, the, the Quran, there's nothing. I told you, Muhammad did not know. You know why really? I said that? You know why I said that? Okay, the listen, fact listen, that listen. he's the most documented also we means documented. that there's a lot of there are a lot of hadith that are weak and and and. I just say to you. Who is the father of That's Moses? That's why I brought it up. Who is, using, the, who is the father of Moses? I'm asking you as a Muslim. Who is the father of Moses? Yeah. Who is the who father, is the father of, of Noah? I don't know these things. They, they, they weren't. They as, weren't. As, they, as they a, weren't. They, it wasn't mentioned in the Quran. There's stuff. We, there's. There's. There's knowledge. There's knowledge that we need to know that will benefit us, and there's knowledge that we don't need to know. But, Personally, but the, the, the who was the father of Musa is something that I don't need to know. Okay, but is, isn't it you as a Muslim believe that Umran? So why does that matter? Is who the is, father? Who is who? Isn't it? Isn't it true that the Muslims believe that Umran is the father of Musa? Yes or not? No, it is not true. I, I haven't if seen I that. Can you bring up who? anything? Okay. That Imran if, is the father of Musa. Okay, if I go and I show so, you. Oh, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Uh -huh. Is it? Uh, is it? Was his name Imran? Possibly, I have no idea. Is it the same Imran that was the father of of, 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 of Maryam? Uh, Maryam? Yeah, that one. I don't just how how humans work. I don't think he could have lived in both time periods. Oh, oh, bro. Exactly. But here we go. Chapter Al Imran. When the chapter of Al Imran is talking about who? Is talking only about Mary and about Jesus, or talking about Moses and Aaron? When you say the chapter of Al Imran, Al Imran, you see what we mean? We mentioned Pharaoh. What's what's the point? Okay. The the, the point is Muhammad do not know even who's Mary. He think Mary, Maryam, is the same Maryam. Point. First of all, don't My bring friend, up the Pharaoh point because I Aaron, debunked that. Aaron, Moses soul. have a sister. Her name is Maryam. Moses in the Torah have a sister. Her name is Maryam. Exactly the same name as Maryam, the mother of Jesus. So Muhammad, he thought this is the same Maryam. <laughs> Is that what he thought, or was that what you thought? Because no, this is what you he don't thought. You just, this is what you he, just put one and two. This you is, put two this things is, together, and you think is, you've just made it. This just is, because two, bro. I have a my if my my sister's name is 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 is, is she was she was she the wife of of of, of, of Adam? My friend, bro, what are you no, talking we about? We understand. Bro? We understand. What does this even mean? What your sister have to do with this? They have the same. Even no. if they had the same name, okay. you're saying it's the okay. same person. You so, sound stupid so, down right now. Okay, so so why your prophet he changed the name of Mary father? Mary, father, his name, her, his name is not Amran. Is does the does does Mary? You know this is what it is this is what it is because hadith. This is the thing about hadith. 
you there's so many hadith out there some are weak some are strong you know you've been doing this so long my where friend, you can pick hadith that are that are weak now. and try to catch me listen I'm listen about hadith, bring me in the quran where it says bring me in the quran where it says bring me in the quran quranic stuff quranic stuff, quranic stuff say a point and bring quran quran okay. behind it the because quran, that is something the, that will never be changed and that's something that the quran that, in the so, front so, of you chapter what in the quran it says what chapter three the call it imra'at wa imran verse number 35 the wife of Amran, she said, uh -huh. Lord behold, sure. who is the wife of Amran in this verse? Who is this Amran? Chapter 3, verse number 35. Um, who, who is it? Uh, when the wife of Amran, hmm. who is she? I don't know, you tell me. Who is the wife of Amran? This is the mother of Mary. Who is it? Well, this is the mother of Mary. It's who? The mother of Mary. She's the mother of Mary. The mother of Mary, sure, yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's okay. how, yeah. So she is the wife of who? Yeah. But Amran, correct? The wife of Amran. Okay, but Mary, father, is not Amran. Yeah. That's how, so that's how it works. Amram, Amram is the father of Moses. Mary's father is Amran. <laughs> No. But I'm telling you, bro, it's not. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's debunk this right now. So you're saying? Dude, we already went over that topic. Okay, no. It isn't. You can't bring any proof that it was. Okay, listen, listen. You, you say to me, I Where does it say that Imran was where? 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 You're just bringing stuff up. What, what do you mean? Where it says what? And even if you can prove it, bro, it might be the same name. But I know you can't. There's there's nowhere in the Quran that says the, 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 son, the, 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 the father of Musa was Imran. With that this point this point it's actually what are you what are you even talking about what does this mean isn't it the quran says mary is a sister of aaron huh isn't it the quran says mary is the sister of aaron sorry say that again isn't it the quran says that mary she is the sister of aaron sister and sis, sister Sister in the religion, in the religion. Where it says, religion. where it that's, says, that's, where that's it we, says, she is a sister. In the, where it says that in the Quran. Go, go show me. Where does it say what? Where it says she is his sister in religion. It says sister and the word father. You see the word there it says, Aaron sister, your father. So this is not religion. We are talking about a brother and a father. You have a brother. His name is Aaron, and you have a father. Who is his name is Amran, and they are not bad. The Prophet وسلم, said that, wait. Who... Um, the, uh, the, oh, Aisha. Aisha, yeah. The, 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 the Prophet وسلم, said that Aisha was Ummahat al Muslimin, the mother of, of, of the believers. Does that mean she's my biological mother? Or when the father no. Okay, you see, as, yeah, you are trying to get away. As his father, is, is that Wait, was Adam okay. actually his but father? Now, but no. now we have a problem. We have a problem that Mary, her father, now Muhammad, changed the no, name. No, we don't. Of the we, just, uh, we just we just solved the problem. No, 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 we did not because Mary, her father, is not Amran. This is Amran is the father of Musa. They don't have the same name. You see, if Mary, who is it then? Tell me, tell me, who is it? Who is it? If you go in the it? Bible, you will say it says Haley, 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 Haley. The same person they call him Joachim or Joachim. So here we have a problem. Why the why in the Bible have different name for the father of Mary, and in the Quran we have one name for the father of Mary, Amran, which is not even accurate. It should be Amram. So. This Aaron is a sister. Aaron is, is uh, uh, Mary is the sister of Aaron. She is the sister of Amran, sister of Moses, and she is the daughter of Amran. That makes sense because according to your prophet, that, okay, okay. That, that so what if I told you? Huh? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is why. Okay. There's an issue. There's an issue with what you're saying hmm. because there are two different Amrans. Hmm. What? What do you mean? Just like how you brought up links, we could bring up a link. Where the different Amran? Show me where the Christian... Two completely different okay, Amran. Show me. I'll tell you why. Me, okay, let me ask you something. Show me where in the Bible let it me says ask you Mary. Something. Let me ask you Show something. me where in the Bible it says that Mary, she have a father. His name is Amran. Why are we talking about the Bible? The Bible has been distorted. No problem. They see the story at the Quran is reserved. So show me where it says... Are you says, talking to a Muslim? So you talk to a Christian. So then show me where there is two names for Amran. One is the father of Mary and one is the father of Moses. Go first ahead. of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. First of all, first of all, this is what you're doing. You go from Hadith to Quran. If we're talking about the Quran, right? Okay. Show me so, in the Quran where it says Imran is the father of Musa. 
he is the father. Okay, no, but even if he is, even if he is, issue is who, which Amran. Yeah, my friend, if 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 Aaron, there's no two Amran. Show me. Go ahead. Show me the two Amran. Go ahead. I'm I'm listening. Show me the two Amran. I'm listening. No, hold on, hold on. First of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, this is what we're gonna do. Show me the proof. No, show me the proof that there's two, and then we'll. I'll tell you this. Show me the proof that Musa is is the is the brother of Maryam. Show me that proof. And, so in front and of you, without using the Aaron, term Imran. Aaron is the bro- Aaron is the brother of Musa. He is the same time brother of of Mary, Maryam. Okay, I'm the brother of Musa. Am I not? No, you are not. Yes or no? You're the brother of Musa. No, no? you are not. Are you brother oh, of Muhammad? Wait, wait, wait. You are not. Wait, brother. I already told you that the Prophet said Aisha was the mother of the believers. So no, I'm okay, telling you okay. that term doesn't uh, work the no, same no, way no, you're no, thinking. No, no, no. You see, the, the so mother, why you keep bringing the mother that up? of the believers, this is yes, a joke. Yes. This is a joke. You remind me of that guy who came to your prophet, said to him, I want to have sex with Aisha. And then Aisha, she said to him, he said, he said to her, but she is the mother of the believer. What and do then, you do? So we're just cracking jokes now. On, are we, are we, we talking, are we talking joke. shit to each other? So I brought you what, a point. What make Muhammad say Aisha is the mother of the believer? Because the Quran says so. So Muhammad, he don't want okay. anyone to sleep with his wives. Muhammad was a bad no, person. No, the Quran says. Oh, listen, listen, listen. Chapter forty-nine. Listen, verse listen, 10, listen, the listen. listen. The Muhammad, Muhammad, he made yes Aisha no. and all the wives the yes mother no? of the believers, so nobody can sleep with them. Correct? Is that correct? Why are we? Why are you jumping Dude, points? You got no, caught. so loud, you man. Got, be quiet. Got, um, um, no, I'm, I'm no, saying, is that true? Points. Okay, okay, no, hold on. Is it, you're telling is me. It, is it, hold on, is hold on, for, hold on, please, is it for please, before you switch is the it, topic. Is we're it, talking about one it, thing, you can't jump no, from one thing to the next. you see, you are the one who mentioned, you are the one who mentioned that the mother of the believers is Aisha. So I'm saying to you, is it true that Muhammad, he made Aisha the mother of the believer, same as all the other wives, so they can't sleep with them? Yes or no? That's not the point that I'm, that, that, that I'm no, you, you, no, you're, you're that's completely the point. switching you up the point. Listen, you mentioned, you mentioned, you mentioned, you mentioned that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just please let me talk for two seconds. Can I talk for two seconds? Can I talk for two seconds? Or are you going to take up the I'm whole asking thing? you. Is this a conversation is it, is, or a is, lecture? Is it, is it true? Is it I'm true? Confused. Is it true or not? I'm lying or not? That your prophet, he made them the, the mother of the believers because it's forbidden for the Muslims to sleep with them. Yes or no? I don't know. I'm 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 not I'm not in a position to speak about that. What do you mean? What do you mean you don't know? Unless you unless you gave me some time to research, I wouldn't. Okay, but uh, sorry. So so if you if Aisha she is available right now, you will sleep with her? No, because she's the wife of the prophet, no. and she's not my mother. No, I, she I is not. Not because people. she is the wife of the prophet, but because she yeah. is the she is the mother of the believers. Because. No, but also because she is the wife of the prophet, and I don't have a right to her. No, I'm asking you: Is it true that it's forbidden? Yes or no? So let us make it yeah. clear: Is it true that it's forbidden for Muslims to marry the wives of Muhammad? Yes or no? I that that that's that's a rule. Yes. Hmm. But I'm I'm saying I'm hmm. saying it's also forbidden for me to marry your wife. So Muhammad he come with the term they are the mother of the believers because simply he don't want Muslims to sleep with them, correct? Well, regardless, he t bro, think about this. If we really didn't want Muslims to sleep with her, okay, hmm. let's say that was the the motive behind that. Hmm. Wouldn't he be satisfied with Allah just already declaring that if I have a wife, she is mine, and you're not allowed to sleep with her, and it is a sin and it is adultery? Yeah, because the, why would he need to do that? Yeah, because the Quran says that. The so Quran the, exactly. is already a very yeah, one so, of the major. So, so Muhammad, so Muhammad, he made it clear that women, the, his wives, are forbidden for you. Open chapter three, thirty-three, verse number fifty-three. Sure. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So what point are you trying to make from that? The point is, Muhammad, he make Aisha your mother, but she is not. Because I have a point that I'd like but, to make. But now, but now, but now, you cannot marry Aisha because he made her your mother. So it's not a metaphorical thing. Because now you have a hukum. You have a, a, you, you have a penalty if you try to do marry her. She is not allowed. It's against God. So she is not metaphorically your mother anymore. She is your mother. Okay, sure. 
Okay, so don't sure. tell me the prophet, no. he said that, so she is okay, Islam, okay. your mother. Now, so if we go back to, to the story of uh, of uh, 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 Maryam, when Kaab al-Ahbar, he came to, uh, to, to Aisha, and he told her, well, as I know, that there is a huge difference, there's hundreds of years between Maryam, the sister of Aaron, and uh, uh, Maryam, the, the mother of Jesus. Aisha, she said to him, Kadhaft, you are a liar. <laughs> is that correct? Yeah, sorry, how, how many? Wait, so there's there's hundreds of years in between who? Between Maryam, the mother of Jesus, and Maryam, the sister of Aaron. What Aisha she said to him? And then Aisha, in one hadith she says, Who said, who said there's, I, there's, um, here we go. Let me, let me give you the hadith. Let me, let me give you the hadith. Let me see if I can find first. Who said, who said Maryam? Who said Musa had a sister named Maryam? Who said that? No, can you answer Kaab, that? Who said, who said Musa had a sister Kaabul named Maryam? Kabul Ahbar. Kabul Ahbar. Kabul Ahbar. And it is in the Bible too. Kabul Ahbar. He was a Jew. So he t he came to her and to, 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 to Aisha. And he said to her, how you, the prophet, he says such a thing. And let me show you the hadith. In the front of you, here we go. This is islamweb.net. I'm not making things up. All right, islamweb.net. I can give you the link in the front okay. of you. Okay, okay. So here it says that mm -hmm. uh, 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 that Kabul Ahbar, Ahbar bi Hadrati Aisha. So Kabul Ahbar, he said in the presence of Aisha, O oh, mother of the believers, O oh, mother of the believers, listen carefully. إن مريم إن مريم ليست بأختي هارون أخي موسى. مريم she is not the sister of Aaron, the brother of Moses. عائشة she said to him, you are a liar. <laughs> so why عائشة she said you are a liar? So, because because okay. this is what Muhammad so, meant. So when Muhammad, I, you know it's funny. So what it's funny when when Muhammad when Muhammad came back home when Muhammad came back home Aisha she told him you know he said oh you know I don't mean that so you see here they got him busted in his time so this is what Muhammad meant this is what Aisha understood this is what the Muslim understood they thought this is what he said because this is what okay. he meant so Aisha me, so the only so the only let me, let me see something the only verse the only the only verse you have to to say that Maryam is the sister of Harun uh -huh. is when Allah referred when Allah calls him and says Ya Akht Harun yes or no he he does yes no, yes no, he does, have, there's no ayah that no, we have, says we have, we have, Maryam no, is the no, sister the blood have, sister of have, Harun have, he just Am calls her by Ya Akht Harun yes my or friend, no no we have Amran we have Amran yes or no because that's the ayah no, I know no, the ayah you're talking about no the ayah is saying she is she that's is what it is that's what it is no just answer that answer that you I am you make us answer you. questions Listen you make carefully. us answer questions and you I'm answer answering you the father of Mary is Amran you the with another question. yeah you answer the question with another question no I'm not answering with a question you said it's only only one verse I said no what? I said no Amran is the father of Mary in the Quran but so Amran the is the father of Moses <laughs> It's, two different, it's two different guys with the same name. How do you not understand uh, that? Okay, hold on. First of all, where, where are you going to go through the lineage? Yeah, right now. That, no, that, read it. Where in the Quran, that, the Quran, is, where in the Quran it says there's two different guys that have the same name? Tell me. Where in the Quran does it say you? No, no. Instead of us proving it to you, you have to. Here prove we go. To us it that says it's you guy. are the sister of you are the sister of Aaron and no, your father. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I, I, the okay. only, I, I hold on, hold on, hold on. The proof what is, is what is the connection can between? Can you prove to me what, that Amran what is the connection? Is, what is the connection? Huh? What is the what what what? Is Amran the son of Suleiman? What because because who, who is Amran the son of Suleiman? Who is Suleiman? Maryam, Maryam's, uh, Maryam's Imran. What, uh, where, where, where do you get this name from? No, Musa's Imran. It's the same one, right? Okay, where do you get this name from? Is, where do you get this name from? What do you mean, where did I get the name Imran? Suleiman, no, no. Solomon. You, you said Sol is? Solomon, Solomon. Who is Solomon? You speak Arabic, no? Who, who is Solomon? Suleiman. Yeah, what's Solomon. Sule what Suleiman have to do with Imran now? Do you know who that is? No, I do not know. Tell me, what Suleiman have to well, do with Imran? Well, because from, 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 the, from the line, from the, no, listen. From the line, Isa hmm. came down from Suleiman. Yes or no? Look at the tree. 
what this has no so, uh, Isa is not is not from anyone uh, Isa he said Jesus we don't have, first of all we don't have Isa even your prophet didn't even quote the name, ah, but the no, name of but Jesus he, he's the son of Mary no 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 he's not we don't have Isa the son of Mary your prophet, he he's think, the son of Mary, he right? think about a guy, his name is Esau, he is the son of Maryam, and Maryam is the sister of Aaron. And this addition is proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. So he messed up the whole family. He don't know what he's no, talking no, about. No, no, no. Dude, please. Right now. Right now. My bad. Okay, okay, brother, this is this is what's gonna tie it up. This is gonna tie it up. Okay. You're saying Amran hmm. is the same Amran that was the son that was the oh, yeah. father of Musa, was the father of Maryam, right? Yeah, this is what the hadith is saying too. Right? That's what you're saying. Mm. This is what your hadith is saying. Your okay, 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 okay. This is what okay. Aisha is saying. So, first of all, the, I would, the already, 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 the already said the reason why it's it's the, 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 the sisterhood and the brotherhood is, is for the religion. Okay. Mm. The reason, we the, the proof okay. we have, except the proof we have that it's two different people is, is, is just life, like just, just lifespan, it doesn't add up. So, so, exactly. So, okay. So, so, in no, order, in order, in order, in order to, to keep living 500 order years, to cover, yeah, right. In order that, to that's cover new. Up. So, no, check this, check this. Oh. You, what you have to do, what you have to do, no, check this. Let me finish, let me finish. Yeah. What you have to do is you have to give us a way that Amran is, you have to explain how it's the same guy and they lived this in, what the ver this lived is, from the time this, this of is what, Maryam to the time This is what the verse is saying. How does that make this sense? is what the verse is saying. The verse is saying that Mary have a father, his name is Amran. And there's no uh, what verse? What verse? What verse? What verse? Chapter, what verse? Don't just say the verse. You got. If you're gonna say the verse, chapter, you gotta say the verse. Chapter three. All the chapter saying that all the name of chapter. The name of the chapter is Amron. Come on. So the chapter of the, the chapter is called Al Amron. Amron. And this, okay. what does it say? So who is the family? Who it is says the, what? Who is it the says family? Yeah, Harun, right? Yes. And then it says that Aaron, the sister of Aaron. No, you, the family of Amron is, is Maryam. Okay. Is who, Maryam and Nalini is in, going down. In, in the verse twenty-eight, it's mentioned the sister and the brother and the father. Who is the sister Mary? Who is the brother Aaron? Who is the father Amron? Read it. Chapter three, verse chapter nineteen, verse twenty-eight. <laughs> And I already explained to you the, the brotherhood and the sisterhood in Islam. Okay, listen, listen. So why, why are we still on why, that point? Why the Christians will change the name of the father of Mary when their book written 600 years before Muhammad? Why do they want to change the father of Mary? Yeah. Do the Christian you what, 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 They didn't. What, what's, what's, what, 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 yeah, what is it okay. in the Bible? I, I just told you. What's Haley. the name in the Bible? Haley, 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 Haley. You know? It's huh? Haley, Haley. It's Haley. Uh -huh. Okay, well, in in in, in Islam, it's, 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 look right here. Haley. Haley, yeah, son hmm. of Hezekiah, hmm. son of Suleiman. Hmm. Okay. What okay, is it? and then you have Imran, hmm. son of Kohat, son of Levi, son hmm. of Yaqub. Hmm. So, what have to do? How Imran end to be the father of Mary? Say that again. How Imran end to be the father of Mary? So is is so so you're so you're saying Imran and Haley are not the same person. Does that, does that, do they sound the same? I mean, the the names sound the same. One start with the A and the other one start with H. Do they well, sound the example, same? Well, for example, Isa and Jesus don't sound the same. Well, Isa, we, we don't have Isa. They don't. In the Islamic belief, no. Uh, See, this Haley is and, uh, this, this, Imran this, this, this okay. Is, this so is, is name. I, yeah. I just showed you. Yaqub, Yaqub, and Jacob. I just don't showed sound you. Similar. No, Yaqub. This is an Arabic name. Your prophet is copying, copying the word. That's what I'm Am saying. So the, in Hebrew, the Amran is the Arabic Your prophet, name, no? no, he got it wrong. It is, it is not Amran. It is Amram. Your prophet, he don't even know how to copy a Jewish name. So Amram, not Amran. So, so your who's, prophet, who's Amran? Who, who, who's Amram, that? Who's that? Amran, who's that? Amran is who's the that? father of Moses. So who's Amran? Who's Amran? He's the father of Moses. It's the father of Musa. Yeah. Ah, oh this wow. is why. This is why when 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 Kabul Ahbar read with me carefully. This is your Islamic website. When Kabul Ahbar he came to her, he said in the presence of Aisha, the mother of the believers. Oh, may God bless her. This is a translation using Google translation. Mary is not the sister of Harun, the brother of Musa. Aisha, she said to him, "You lied." Did you see what she said? You lied. So if you are the one saying that to, to Aisha, that Musa's, the uh, Amran is not the brother of Mary, Aisha, she will say to him, you are a liar. He will say to you, you are a liar.
And she continues saying, so he said to her, O mother of the believers, if the messenger of Allah, may God and, you know, pray on him, say it so, you know, he must be truthful in information. He gets scared because he will get killed now. Uh, uh, but I find, I find between them is 600 years. And then after he said that, I was silent, Aisha saying, I was silent. Yeah, she said, the, because they are, they are sisters, they are sibling, they are brother and sister in Islam. <laughs> that, that's the point. That's the point. I, you know, understand friend, this point. Friend, I've already so said why that. why she said to him, you lied? Why she said to him, you lied? When he said, because she, she is she, not, be, listen, she, 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 she definitely, yeah, you're, you keep bringing hadith, bro. Uh -huh. There's no, there, you have, okay. no, you can't find any contradictions okay. in the Quran. Oh, I and can, honestly, I cannot that, find that, contradiction that, in the Quran. Okay, let us go. Up, let us go to contradiction in the Quran. Hold on. You see, this is a contradiction actually. But you are oh, saying I this. Bet is, you won't find one. Okay, go you on. are saying this not one. I want to ask you, which one Allah created first, the stars or the trees? What does that have to do with the Quran? Tell, bring me the verse first, and then I'll answer. No a contradiction. I'm asking you, which one? No, Allah you because you're trying to catch me. You're trying to catch me, and then uh, you're going to say the verse and so it's going to say something else. So you else. are not. You are trying not to be catch, not saying the truth. You don't want to say the truth. Who care about catching you? Say the truth. Say what you what, what if you know if you know say, how if you, say dude say, I've seen I've seen I've seen enough people that speak like you to know not to answer those questions. You're not going to catch me on that. Are you going say, to say the verse and then you, you ask? The are question. you going to give an, a, a truth answer or you play games? You're playing games. You're 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 trying to put the question. But yeah, I'm you haven't the, answered any I'm of our questions. And now question. you're, you're, you're you're trying to put so your you question. Are, so you are so you are saying to me you are afraid to answer because if you answer I'm going to catch you. Okay, can you, can you haven't answered a single one of our questions all day. Uh, you uh, answer you never asked me. You never asked me. Any, you never asked me anything. You never asked me anything. What are you talking you about? Answer my question. How about that? <laughs> listen, How listen. About this? I'll answer listen, my question. Listen, listen, no, listen. Because you, no, listen, listen, listen. I asked you a question. Mm. You responded with a question, right? Okay. So now you're expecting me to give an answer when you gave a question. You never and now me. you're saying because you never, I'm, I'm you giving you another question. Anything. You never answer me about anything. And you never ask me a question. I, I, no, and, I didn't because and, I asked the question first. And, 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 now, you and now you are trying to turn away. Question until you, you are answer afraid mine. to answer me about simple thing any Muslim kid should answer. Which one Allah created first? The earth? He finished the earth first or he finished the sky? Don't change the subject. I'm not. Why are you changing you the say, subject? You are the one who said, show See, me. this is the thing. You you're are the one who just very said, weak you are, points, you are and the your one, points are, you are not the, being... You are I don't the think one you understand. You're not fooling anybody. Show me a contradiction. You are the because one you're not said, answering anything. You just said, show me a contradiction. I showed you about Mary. You refuse it. No problem. I'm now asking you a simple one. Which one Allah... Uh, no, 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 no. We bro, we yeah. The, the Mary point, I give you a bit perfectly valid point against that. So and you, and you what answer is the, that what with is another the point. So Aisha, Aisha is a liar. She said you lied. I uh, answer the question. Uh, answer the question, bro. Dude, I, sh I showed you what what Aisha listen, she said. Answer my question first. You said I showed you what Aisha she said. You said to me I don't I'm, go by you're, the hadith. You're, you're, you said to me you don't go by the hadith. Here's the issue. I, <laughs> I have I have the I have the tree. I have the family tree that has that has everything down to the detail. Okay. And it shows two different Amrans. Go ahead. No, show me what is the Amran, the different Amran. Go ahead. Look, Where? there's there's he there's Heli and there's Amran. Where is what, what yes tree? No? What, what tree you are reading from? Huh? What tree you are reading from? I am reading from. Uh, where is this? Islamic showcase. Okay, where did they get this from? What do you mean? Where did they get that from? Them those names. Where did they get them from? I'm not sure. <laughs> but regardless, every single every <laughs> single one is identical. My friend, those are made up. Every single one is identical. No, so are they all wrong? Other one, they, they, they are copy paste. You Muslims, you copy paste from each other. No, none of you knows what you're talking about. Otherwise, uh, show me. Okay, give me reference. Okay. Okay, give so, me a, give me a reference. You see, brother, your, when I when I when I say to you something, I give you a reference. Give me a reference where they get this from, so yeah, we can look. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Regard. Okay, we're gonna we're good. That. You, we're going to talk about the Aisha point that you you said Aisha called her called can you, can you say that Aisha she said to uh, to Kaab al Ahbar just, one, so we can the, bring it up what is okay, it the one who said he said to her that uh, Harun just, is, just a hadith so we can bring she, it up okay. hadith, number. hadith number okay what hadith number the hadith number to the to the quote you're saying right now oh you want the hadith number or is it something oh, okay. you made up okay hold on let us see uh, give me a second. You were reading it two seconds ago, right? Yeah, no, let's bring it up now. Take it easy, take it easy. Yeah, you will you will All see right. it in a second. Hmm. 
Are you excited to see the hadith? So how come you did not read it when I gave it to you first time and now you are suddenly you wanna... <laughs> well, because... Oh no, no, just bring it up, just bring it up now. Okay, oh, oh, oh. okay here we go. Here, here we go, brother. Take take the link. I will... Just bring it up. Okay, bring brother, it up. brother, take the link. I will give you the link. Here we go. Here we go. Open it. Or we can, or or we no no no, or no. We can, no no give you the link give you the link I give you the link or we can move on and just no 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 we don't, no we don't move, move we will, no we will stick with it go ahead I will not, okay, I, will not I will not even let you move anywhere go ahead okay where is it do you send it I send it yes check on that I need the number that's all I oh no yeah yeah this is the Hmm. This, is, we can, this is Tafsir al Qurtubi. Listen, listen. Let us talk like adults. Stop acting like kids. Jumping from, from place to place. Tafsir al Qurtubi. Loki just got out of high Tafsir school. Tafsir al Qurtubi. We're, we're, we're getting there. Volume, oh, volume I, number. I'm eight. sorry, but if volume, you want to talk about jumping va from place volume, to place, volume, number one, you, you, me, you are the one who asked me to go back here. Let us not to change it. Let us not to change it. You started talking about. Let us not to change it. Let us not to change it. Hold on. You said to me, give me the hadith. I just gave it to you. I want you to read it the serial give me the number volume number 11 page number 27 hadith hadith volume no what's the name of the book Tafsir al Qurtubi, the interpretation of al Qurtubi, volume number 11 page number 27 and i gave you the link oh, don't get mad now we're just asking yeah yeah hmm. so go down you will see here says okay, what, what? What to be is a 13th century work. Now, if you bring me something from, for example, the 7th century, from the, why, why are you laughing? But this hadith is not from the 13th century. This is from the time of Muhammad. This is Aisha talking there. What's wrong with you? But, okay, but when when was the hadith? Uh, go on, just go. I'm losing my voice. A bunch of kids. Yeah, this is from the 7th the seventh century. A seven a cancer, a court of from the seventh century. Seventeenth <laughs> <17th> century. <laughs> Who cares about a court to be? You ask me for reference, I give you the reference. Isn't it obvious? Muhammad you do not know the name of the father of Mary. He thinks this is Umran. Isn't it? What kind of a prophet he is? How silly. And yes, I agree. A person can have two names. The same person can have two names. No problem. Jesus the Christ. Okay. But here he is making her the daughter of Amran. Literally, the wife of Amran, she said, I'm going to designate my baby. The wife of Amran. This is metaphorical no more. Amram is the father of Moses. So when this man, the Jew, who is a rabbi, he came to Muhammad, wife Aisha, and he said to her, well, you know what? Aaron, Mary, the mother of Jesus, is not the sister of Aaron. When Aisha, she showed anger and she said to him, you lied. This man, he started having poo, poo between his legs because now Muhammad will come home and she will tell him what he said and she will kill him. So he said to her, you know what? If the messenger, he says so, he is telling the truth for sure, you know? But otherwise, I will find between them more than 600 years. And then Aisha, she said, he said that and I was silent. She didn't know what to say. You want to play all day long. I have a tree. I have a tree. What a tree. You must have no tree. You don't even have a tree for your prophet name. I just ask you, where in the Quran says who's Muhammad? The most documented man, as you claim. And then here it says, and when Aaron, he died. There's 40,000 Aaron. They went in his funeral. <laughs> <laughs> read carefully and it's all it was said Aaron he was a righteous man at that time in his funeral and the day of the funeral there's 40,000 all of them they were named Aaron <laughs>
<laughs> my name is a Christian prince. When I died, there's 40,000 men. They went in my funeral and their name, all of them a Christian prince. True story. And you say, show me the reference. Show me the hadith. What a bunch of kids. And then when we ask him, okay, which one Allah created first? Did he finish the earth first or his sky first? Oh, don't change the topic. Go back there. Okay, we went back. They don't want to read it. Show us the reference. We showed them the reference. No other one has changed. Okay, here we go. We're stuck here. It's in the front of you. Muhammad, after he got busted, he had to give his own explanation. He said, oh, they used to call them by their ancestor, but Aaron, but, but Aaron, but, uh, Aaron is not from the ancestor of Mary. They used to call them by their prophets. Mm -hmm. Isn't it the Quran says, call them by the name of their fathers? The Quran forbid Muslims to call anyone except by the name of their father. It's forbidden. And Muhammad, he made that just so he can have sex with Zainab because he was adopting Zaid. Let us show you the verse. You call them only by the names of their fathers. This is why the verse mentioned that she is a sister of of Aaron, and her father was a good man. Chapter 33, verse number 5. Call them the sons of their own father. You don't call anyone. This is why the Quran did not say Jesus, the brother of Moses. He said Jesus, the son of Mary, because Jesus have no father. Maryam, the daughter of Amran. That's what the Quran says. Just to show you another stupid thing, as an example, if we try to find out who is the father of the fa uh, the father of uh, Abraham, Muhammad, he think that the father of Abraham, his name is Adar. But Adar is a word mean foolish. So Muhammad the fool, he copy what Abraham said to his father. He said to him, foolish. Are you going to worship idols? <laughs> Muhammad, he thought the word foolish is the name of Abraham's father. <laughs> oh boy. What are going on? Oh boy. Chapter 34. What is that? You see, in the in the language that we say this person is the son of law so uh, joseph can be the son of the father of mary why because he's married to Miriam. this is what the bible says the son-in-law he's a son so i can call joseph by the father of mary i can say this person is the son of mary father i can say mary she is the daughter of the father of Joseph. That is possible. But here we have no relationship. Mary have nothing to do with Musa. They are not even from the same tribe. So I can say, uh,
Jacob is the father of Moses. And I can say, sorry, the, the father of Joseph. And I can say, Mary, the daughter of Jacob. I can say, Joseph is the son of Harry or Joachim. This is because there is marriage. And this is a practice now too. I mean, nothing changed. So when a Muhammadan, he come to us, try to find a solution for a stupid mistake in the Quran, it doesn't work. It is silly. And when we ask them, okay, forget about this. Which one Allah created first? Which one Allah finished first, the earth or the sky? Any Muslim in the chat can tell us? Just to show you how they have no idea. They don't dare to say. Because the second they give you an answer, he said, oh, you want to trap me? Why? Why you are saying that? So he's afraid to say the truth, the, the correct answer. The second he will say the correct answer, he will be in trouble. Do you see why he's afraid to answer, to give the correct answer? Which one is the correct answer? I cannot tell you the correct answer, because if I tell you the correct answer, then, then we have a problem. We can go and do like, you know, like the, the Bible speak about Jesus, the son of, from David, right? The son of son, 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 but there they are given like the long, the lineage, the lineage, not jumping right away. So Jesus said to them, who is Jesus? What do you say about the Messiah? Sorry, what do you say about the Messiah? He's, they said he is the son of David. But this is literally is. Yes. By birth, he is. This is not metaphorically. For he is the grandson, son, 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 by birth. Then Jesus said to them, well, if, if David call him my Lord, so how he can be his son? Which means Jesus saying to them, I am the God of David. So it's not metaphorical. If I say I am a son of Adam, this is not metaphorical. It's true. But sister of Aaron, that is a big issue. For he mistake with the name of the father, and he mistake with the name of the brother, and he made it clear that Muslims they should call, should be called, speaking to each other by the name of their fathers. Otherwise, Allah will be upset. You don't call someone the son of etc. person unless he is your father. This is why the Quran mentioned that Jesus, the son of Mary, he did not say Jesus, the brother of Moses. I mean, which one should be have more relationship to Moses? Mary, the mother who is not a prophet, or Jesus, supposedly according to Muslim, is a prophet. Poor people. Two different account of a creation. You see, the, the, the issue is, the second you give the Muslim a question, he will not answer. That's it. That's why he's asking for the, the uh, show me, show me the verse. Did you notice? So they are trying to be supposed to be smart. Like, okay, show us the verse, show us the verse so we can give you the answer. He, don't wanna, he won't give me the answer. Because after I show him the verse and they knew what the verse is saying, they will change the answer. You know what I mean? Their answer is going to be flexible. They bend in the bust. <laughs> so you are going to bust us, I know. So if we say this, then we cannot say, oh, we did not say it. So show us the verses. If you ask me, I will say to you, like, ask me which which one of God created first. I will tell you why you cannot. Why you don't dare to say? What is the problem? Is your answer will change? Yes, 
their answer will change that's why i may I, I name my video when the fox explain islam they try to be foxes but not with us the answer will change because this is a cult Well, all the names are wrong. Haman, Haman is the minister of the Pharaoh. <laughs> and the Pharaoh is the one who built the Babylon Tower. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Thank you, Deborah. I apologize. I was not looking too much at the, at the chat. And I don't know if you hear my stomach is making noise. Uh, I think I'm, I need to eat. This is the benefit of having four, four wives and four mother-in-law. If I have four wives now, I will have like four sandwiches, big ones. Uh, I mean, isn't it obvious? How in the world, why the Christian, they will change the name of the father of Mary? There's no reason. Why do I do that? A book written 600 years before Muhammad. Do they knew that Muhammad is going to be foolish? Muhammad, he heard that the Jews, they have a prophet, his name is Aaron, a prophet, his name is Moses, their sister, her, their name is Maryam. Uh-oh, this is Maryam, the mother of Jesus. <laughs> you can hear it? What a scandal. Don't tell them, don't tell their friends, okay? Yeah, actually, it's very cold, you know. It's a cold weather. There's a big storm is hitting USA. Hold, hold on, hold on. He, he, he just said to me, call me again. And we are talking about storms, so maybe we should ask him about storms. Call back, he's saying call back. Uh -huh. He's not online anymore. He, he, but I don't know, it says for me, it says, it says online. You forgot when the Quran says how Allah, he sent hail? Where the snow is coming from? <laughs> <laughs> where the snow is coming from I mean did Allah make a mistake here <clears throat> no way Allah will not make a mistake Allah for sure he is talking about a true story he sent down hail out of high mountains in heaven <laughs> he sent hail from where he sent down hail out of high up mountains in heaven <laughs> i mean come on muhammad you don't make mistakes it's obvious this is true the storm which is right now happening in usa all over usa it's happening because there's mountains of hail and allah is sending hail on us true story Who can deny that? Are you there, Jamal? It says call rejected. It says call rejected. I'm calling him. It says rejected. Muhammad, he knew about biology, geology, analogy, all kind of ecology stuff. He's expert with eyeliner, lipstick, earthquake, mountains, valleys, honey, sperm. Uh, actually, we had to go to the comment. It is a guy we don't need to answer him. Yeah, actually, we were talking about that. You see here, the idiot here. He's saying to me, here there's a there's a there is a contradiction in Matthew chapter 1 verse number 13 and chapter Luke chapter 3 verse number 23 because this is because you're an idiot Joseph and Mary they are the sons of two men in the same time 
How is that? Joseph is a son of his father-in-law. And Mary, she is the daughter of her father-in-law. At the same time, both of them, they are the daughters and the sons of their real father. So you are a fool. But if you go in the Quran, we will find that the Muslims are confused about all the names. Muhammad or Ahmad. Abraham is the son of Azar. Mary is the daughter of Amran. Jesus became Isa. Mary is the sister of Aaron. Haman is the minister of Pharaoh. The Pharaoh is the one who built the Babylon. What do you want more? All the history is, you know, what about what about as the, the Samaritan? He was exist in the time of Moses. <laughs> This is a pure history. Go and read history. So Moses, he went away and he came back, and the Samaritan he 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 uh, uh, he, he 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 deceived his people. Hmm? How this happened, brother? Look, they are not even translating the word summary. We want to show you translation in English so you can get the word in English. Mm -hmm. Summary, they keep saying summary. Nobody is using the English term of it. Mm -hmm. All of them. What's wrong with those people? Uh, let us see, Arbery. The Samaritan, the Samaritan, he mislead the people of Moses. <sighs> History, the historian Muhammad. Do you see the history? Muhammad, he knew what's happening. And then Moses, he returned and he was very angry. Why? Because the Samaritan, he mislead them. <sighs> That's deep. Where Allah, he has daughters. Well, if you go in the Quran, there's many verses actually in the Quran, but in the Quran, there's certain verses where Allah, he mentioned the names. If you remember, there's a book written by a guy, his name is Salman Rushdie. It's called the Satanic Verses. It was about those verses. That Muhammad, when he was reciting those verses, Satan, he put in his tongue, suppose according to Muslims, that you should worship and intercede with the daughters of Allah. So it says here, have you considered Allah and al uzza and Manad the other? What? You have males, which mean male sons, and for him a females. This is unjust division. Allah is complaining about having female daughter. He likes to have sons. <laughs> <laughs> and here by the way you see here they, they put el lat it's el lat not el lat el lat but it makes the same actually because in the old original language it is el el lat god lat god uzza and then the funny though, the Muslim they say Allah have no daughters. Then Muhammad he come with a story that the Prophet he sent uh, uh, one of his companions. We need to search for the expedition. Of Khalid. All right. You can search for the expedition of Khalid to kill the daughter of Allah. <clears throat> uh, and the Muslim, they say he killed her.
Let us see. If we can find the reference in English. And here you see how Muhammad is a foolish man. Because how you say that Allah have no daughters and then you say that he sent Kharid to kill his daughter. You know what I mean? How you, you, you killed who then? Did he kill her really? According to Muhammad, he did. Um... Okay, we found this website. Let us see. Hmm. Let me give you the link. And you will see how Muhammad, he sent Khalid ibn Walid to kill the daughter of Allah. And they killed her. They killed her. They killed the daughter of Allah. How dare you to do that, Muhammad? And here you see the stupidity. How you Muslim you say that there is no Allah don't have daughters and then Muhammad he killed his daughter of Allah. When the messenger of Allah conquered Mecca, he sent Khalid al Murid etc. Uh, to the area of An Nakhla, where the idol of Al Uzza was uh, uh, located, on a tree, uh, a tree trees of a forest. Khalid cut the trees and approached the house built around it. And destroy it when he went back the prophet to the prophet and informed him of the story the prophet said to him go back and finish the, your mission so Muhammad is genius so he did not kill her for you have not finished it Khalid he went back when you know he arrived there he saw Al -Uzza, and Al the servant of Al Uzza saw him they started invoking by calling Al Uzza and when Khalid approached it, he found the naked woman whose hair was uh, crazy and was throwing sand on her. So Khalid killed her with a sword. And then the Prophet, when he went back, the Prophet, he said to him, now you finish your mission. He did not, uh, this website doesn't show the whole story. So Muhammad, he agreed that he killed al -Uzza. He killed al -Uzza. I thought al uzza is a lie. How how this man was sent by your prophet and he killed al uzza hmm? Is that one of your fiction story, Muhammadan? Okay, I actually I found it in Ibn Kathir in English. Uh, here we go. This is Ibn Kathir in English. Guys, you save it, please. So next time if we talk about it, you can share the link. Who want the link? This is Ibn Kathir. This is better than the other website we were reading from. This is Ibn Kathir He's speaking about how Muhammad, he sent his man to kill al -Uzza. He said to him, go back, you did not finish your job yet. There's one thing I don't like about this website. They have their text. You cannot zoom in really in that in that in the text. The text is not to I mean for the uh, not for me. For me my eyes is very strong. But for you in the screen is if you're uh, you know having a phone or etc. So here we go, the story in Ibn Kathir. And then Muhammad, he, says to, he said to him, this is the Uzza. That was Al-Uzza. <laughs> Muhammad killed Al-Uzza? What a scam. Yeah, Muhammad, he can kill whatever he want. I mean, come on. So either we say 
al uzza is a lie. Or we say al uzza is a real person and Muhammad, he was able to kill it. So was it or wasn't not? Anyway, obviously, this religion is a collection of fairy tale stories as usual. And Muhammad, he cannot survive his stories if you are a person who question them. But if you don't question, those stories can survive easy. Sometimes I ask myself, like in the old days when those stories Muhammad he used to provide them and you know how naive people they were, you know, I mean to believe in such a story, you know, people were very naive. Flying carpet and you know, flying horse of Solomon, the ring of Solomon. I mean today we watch movies, not too much different by the way. Uh like you watch a Chinese movie, you know, like see people flying over the trees, but we know it's a fiction, you know, it's a, you know, but it's, uh, it's funny. People like to watch it. All right. You have one question. Okay. Give me the question before we go, because almost we are done for today. Okay, please, man, where's the question? Daniel, where's the question, my friend? Where's the question? You keep saying to me, please, please. Well, I, I don't see the question. And Bahav, Daniel, where is the question? I'm just waiting for you. I'm done for today. Give me the question, my friend. Okay, what do you think of Sheikh Jonathan Brown? Also, I love Jesus so much. I don't know who is this, uh, how his name is Jonathan Brown, and who is Brown? Who cares about those names, my friend? See, try to be a smart person. Don't focus in the name of a person. As an example, who cares about Christian Prince? Who cares? I don't care. You know, those names mean nothing. Focus on the religion and the one who brought the religion to you. What do you think about this guy? Who is this guy? I never heard of him. What do you do? And what about my business with him? If you want to debate me, let him call me and we, we will laugh. So don't be a silly person going after this person and that person. This is a behavior of a silly people. You see, we, we laugh at Zachary Naik because he is funny, he's stupid, you know. But we don't care really. Zakir Naik is not Islam. Christian Prince is not Christianity. When I speak about Islam, I focus on the head of the snake, Muhammad. Otherwise, I'm wasting my time. I'm not going to talk about Osama bin Laden. They can say to me, he don't present Islam. But if I speak about Muhammad, can they say to me, he don't present Islam? They cannot. So, it's a bad mistake when some people they go around like you know I don't know we are like sometime you know when the butterfly looking for a light you know there's a lamp you know somebody is shine a little bit but his shine can be fake so don't waste your time don't debate a person about his personality debate the religion he defend when I debate a Muslim I'm not debating him I'm debating Islam I don't know I was talking to who and who care what we care for that they cannot answer and Islam is a stupid cult 
So actually the Muslim, they wish you are going to go and argue about sheikhs. They wish we change our topic forever and we never talk about Muhammad, we just talk about sheikhs. This guy and that guy. Sometimes we have to talk about what their videos they're saying just to get them busted, but they are not important because those are a bunch of kids. They can deny whatever they want. All those who go on YouTube, I did not see one of them is a man. When they debated this person, Mimi, they said to him, Allah, have a body. He said, who said so? When the Quran, the Hadith, the Prophet says so, he denied it in second. Why? Because he's a kid. So speaking with kids is a waste of time, but doesn't mean we will not spank them. We do. All right. Any other question? Oh, my stomach is talking again. Alhamdulillah, my stomach speaks seven languages. The language of tomato, the language of potato, and the language of a bread, and the language of meat, and the language of uh, what? <laughs> Baklava. <laughs> Thank you from Sarawa, Sarawakim. Sarawak, what is that? Sarawakian. Where is Sarawak? Sarawak, Sarawak, Sarawak? I don't even know how to say it. Hold on, let me copy. Where is Sarak? You see, it doesn't matter how much you know about the world, still you know nothing. Let us, I want to search this one. Sarawakian. Oh, in Malaysia. Oh, okay. Sarawakian. Sarawakian. You know what? Reading the Quran is easier, man. <laughs> Can you talk to them to change the name? Like make us uh, uh, sorry. Uh, so, you know, like something easier. Yeah, like this is remind me of Arabic names. You know, in the in the school in the Middle East, when the teacher come first day, you have to stand up and say all your full name. So like each each one of the students, his name is like a train. Muhammad, the son of Ali, the son of Ahmad, the son of Muhammad, etc., the son of etc., the son of etc., etc. This is the most boring day in the first day in the school, because the student have to stand up and say all the name. All right, <clears throat> so I want to say thank you guys for being here. Uh, I might be the most funny person on earth. No lie. Is that a part of the sentence? No lie. So now I should print this. Okay, hold on. I'm going to print this and I put it in my in, in the front of my page. You might be Christian Prince. Christian Prince. Okay, selfie. I'm going to use this as an advertising for our uh, channel. That is serious. So Christian Prince, you might be the funniest guy on earth, no lie. I'm confused now. So are you saying to me not to lie or you are saying to me you are the funniest guy in the earth? No, I'm not Thor, I'm not Thor. I'm going to read Tathir and Nikathir. And I hope the Muslims will agree with me to read the interpretation of that verse. Alhamdulillah, that's the Quran. It's confusing and that makes sense that this is not me Quran. I think this verse was dropped from the Quran by the mistake because it's confusing. You, Christian Prince, you might be, I mean, you might be, are you, like, this reminds me of Allah said, may Allah forgive you. Allah said to Muhammad, may Allah forgive you. So who are you? <laughs> so, so this is, I think this is Quran because it's very confusing and it, it's not connected. Like, you might be, but would mean you are not really, maybe, maybe so, like maybe you, maybe who, maybe bamboo, you know, like maybe. So like, you know, this is will join the book of maybe, Quran. So maybe you are the funniest guy in the earth, no lie. The last part, it gets dizzy. I'm angry and now there's no lie. I'm not sure what that means, so I will leave that mystery for you. You can think about it and you can call a thing, call an imam. And you will get an answer, Alhamdulillah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sister. Thank you, brother, for your there and for your uh, coffee. Thank you very much. And uh, I, you know, I like you very much. And uh, I will pray to Allah to curse you. 
you know, because the curse of Allah will not make you to go to heaven because in heaven you will be doing what? Boom, boom. <laughs> and none of you like it. I know, this is the penalty. <laughs> Spending 70 years having orgasm. <laughs> 70 years orgasm. Oh boy. 70 years orgasm. I mean, can't you make it 69? He stuck with the number 70. Everything is 70 for you, Muhammad. Oh boy. Anyway, thank you very much. And this is your brother Kutam Prince, Watain Alu. And uh, praise be to Allah, he's uh, the best knowing and the best un unknowing. He's the uh, most, uh, you know, like uh, humble, tumble, whatever, you know. Uh, uh, thank, uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, yeah. It's, thank you very much. Uh, uh, you know, and I'll talk to you later. And uh, I understand nothing of what you are saying, and Alhamdulillah, and that is perfect, and because we have, you know, Prophet, and you know, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I think because my stomach is hungry, and the Prophet did eat honey, so I'm going to eat honey, and uh, uh, honey, honey, is the food ready? <laughs> God bless you all, and see you soon. Don't forget to download the video. We are going to delete all the videos previously. Maybe today. Thank you.